vakten är sådär. Där ska ja. vi. Här vet du. Kan du första boga nu här då? Är det samma upplägg? Jag tror det är samma grej, men du måste dubbelklicka. Ja, det ska Aha, men då tar jag färgen. Ta tror jag ska riktigt. Perfekt, tack så mycket. Vad är det gulligt? Okej, då är vi klar i git. Säg oss i oss. Hey guys, uh, still waiting for uh, Grandmaster Johan Salomon to appear. I'll try to keep you more or less entertained for now. We're watching Offerspill uh, Nordic Invitational Round 6. Um, we are following, uh, at least for now, the first board encounter between Mats Vespierlingsen and Norman Miesi. Um, which uh, I'm sure is going to be quite a, a fight. They're both well known for their fighting abilities, so we'll we'll keep an eye on that game as well. Um, Lars Oskar Hauge, international master, beat uh, Grandmaster Jonas uh, Bjarre yesterday. A uh, very good player um, whom he beat and whom is facing today as well, Ludvig Karlsson, who's beat um, uh, who beat uh, Food Elsness yesterday. Uh, of course, we'll, uh, we'll watch uh, Ellen's game as well. Um, she's playing against Gustav Torngren from Sweden. Uh, no moves there as of yet. We'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, Ellen's been doing great actually in this tournament. Beat her first uh, Grandmaster um, a couple of rounds ago in the Julius. Who had to bite the dust against uh, the Danish uh, Dynamite girl. We'll, we'll see how she fares today against Gustav. Um, third board, Jonas Bjerre looking to repair his tournament. Uh, he's playing uh, Francesco Solnis, who's been uh, very um, solid this tournament. Uh, we'll see how, how that encounter goes as well. Not sure what to expect between Fode Elsnes and Linus Johansson. Um, Fodelsnes who lost yesterday against, uh, well, I'm not going to say underrated because that's that's so obvious. Uh, Ludwig Karlsson, a candidate master who's been doing tremendously well this tournament, performing at Grandmaster level, beat Fodelsnes yesterday. Uh, but uh, today Fode can um, well, at least try to get some uh, revenge, get his tournament back on track, but he's facing Linus Johansson. Fantastic player. And uh, that as well, we'll, uh, we'll see how the opening went here. It's a Queen's Indian of, of some kind. I guess Linus is well prepared because he's playing very fast. Uh, Fool then, not so much. He's been thinking for, uh, well, a couple of minutes, but uh, nothing to be uh, worried about there, I guess. This is uh, still some, some main line. To Fredrik uh, Kossen against uh, Lucas Ronaldi, no moves yet. Uh, I guess To Fredrik has been a bit late, a couple of minutes late to. Well, several games this tournament, but uh, I guess he'll be appearing shortly. The time of the games, um, we only have the the times. If we have, um, if you have uh, some record of the moves, I think there's been some, I guess, technical issues with uh, a couple of the the boards so far. Um, that's why we have no times and uh, or no clocks, so to say, on uh, on many of the boards. But as we can see. Uh, and these games, the clocks are visible. Of course, uh, we can give you the link of the games or you can just use the command uh, games. Uh, and uh, that will be, that will be uh, perfect as well. So, um, so just use the command games in the chat on Twitch and you can get a direct link to, to Leech's broadcast. Uh, sure, yeah. Alright, so uh, the game between Isaac Schöberg again and Rune Durus is, well, one game I'm, I'm particularly concerned about because uh, Isaac Schöberg did play uh, Rune in uh, the last Offerspiel Invitational back in June uh, and they had uh, quite the fight. We'll see how this game develops. Uh, I th think there was some, I guess, some pause here in the opening. Luna, probably a bit late. 
a couple of minutes late, Isaac Sherbank has been playing very fast and he plays d3, with, which is, I guess, um, I'm not going to say preparation, but at least Isaac's got some, some idea of, um, of his opening player here. I'm not sure what the um, what the point is, but he's waiting for knight f6. He controls the d5 square with his knight, so he can push e5. But I guess this is going to be uh, on the board pretty fast, and we're suddenly back into a well-known Rosolimo with bishop f4 and knight e4 incoming. How about Ellen's game? No moves. So, please give me some sort of feedback if you know uh, the picture is okay and the audio is okay, guys. Um, no moves uh, in our, I guess, game of the day. Ellen Nielsen against Gustav Thorngren. Probably some minor technical stuff going on there. Uh, Misi is thinking. Uh, Lars Oskar Hauge against Ludwig Karlsson. Some London. All looks good. Well, that's defined good. But as long as everything's working, guys, that's good. Uh, some London from Lars Oscar, who's been toying with, I guess, uh, lots of different setups with White uh, over the past couple of years. He's been playing, um, he's been playing this system as well against me. He slaughtered me in a game with knight c3, so he's a pretty dangerous player. But he's playing against a massively underrated player from Sweden today, um, who's on a roll. I mean. Uh, really performing and punching uh, way above his weight so we'll we'll follow Ludwig's game with um, uh, with interest so far normal moves I guess this is uh, the main line I, I usually go e6 in these in these lines uh, I guess Bishop f5 is fine as well uh, I, I prefer e6 maybe Queen b6 is a good line here because of the uh, because of the oops because of the bishop f5 trick which um, might work I'm not sure if it works now because the queen can circle back um, pretty complicated stuff best to avoid it which uh, with just e6 or bishop f5 I guess if you don't know the, the main lines um, Jonas Bjerre against Francesco Sunis again uh, I'm not sure how to to categorize this opening it's some g3 line here which is not very critical and then bishop g4 which is i guess inviting white to to get a tempo on the on the bishop and then cd and um, what what to do here with white i would be tempted to to go queen d5 of course f3 should uh, should be more than fine for for white so i guess cd is the obvious answer but then maybe uh, and then maybe uh, queen b3 followed by knight c3 or uh, perhaps it's it's more um, more accurate to, to do it like this hmm. not so sure what to, what to expect here hello uh, hello guys i'm not sure if you have any any favorite player in the tournament i think there's at least one in the chat who's rooting for l nixon which i guess is uh is natural as she is a crowd favorite here at Offerspiel and um, she's streaming and um, right now playing extremely well very solid stuff uh, I guess well she lost yesterday against Lucas Ronaldi in a tough game um, I guess Ellen's uh, setup yesterday was perhaps a bit too solid uh, I, I think she could have gone more active in the early middle game but Lucas is a very good player and uh, stuff like that might happen. We'll see. Uh, lots of rounds to go. This is only round six out of a total uh, uh, of nine rounds. So we'll see. Uh, still waiting for uh, still waiting for Grandmaster Johan Salomon. I'm not the Grandmaster, guys. I'm sure you've uh, noticed already. But uh, I'll guess we'll see him in a minute or two. I'm just going to keep watching behind my back to see if he's uh, outside. 
To Freddy Corson against Lucas Rinaldi, the aforementioned Rinaldi has been playing the Karakan for uh, I guess a couple of years. I've had lots of encounters against Lucas in the Karakan. I always do some weird line, like for example I enjoy playing the, the, the Kia setup, the King's Indian attack setup against the Karakan, but I guess E5 is just uh, a, um, a very nice equalizer for black here. Um, John Paul Wallens, my good friend, is playing uh, the very promising Axel Kvalle. Um John Paul, I've I've done some preparation for John Paul uh, previously, and uh, I guess he's got one GM norm. He made that on the Isle of Man a couple of years ago, where he drew Peter Leko in the last round with Black in an Eidorf. So his his top level is extremely good. Uh, we'll see if he can uh, if he can reproduce some of the the magnificent results from the Isle of Man tournament in in this offer spirit tournament. He had a small setback yesterday, losing against Mats Vespierlingsen, which can happen, of course. He's a very good, uh, very good and strong player. Hey bro, hey bro, and we have company. Uh, I'm not related to <laughs> not related to anyone. Of course, the door. Hello. Hello from the Grandmaster. We've uh, been joined by Grandmaster Johan Salomon. Um, and no, I'm not related to Ellen, I'm afraid. We have the same last name. I'm not even her husband, so, you know, bummer, but uh, it's a magnificent last name. Uh, just uh, watching uh, a couple of the games here, Johan. You can take over here if you like. Okay, yes. Uh, Welcome to chat. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. So, so who's your favorite in this encounter? Vespier Linksen versus Messi? Um, probably... Messi. Oh, no, uh, maybe, no, maybe White. And Moss is pretty but good with White though. Yes, yeah? if he gets a good position. But if not, probably uh, <laughs> Black is more experienced. Sounds like me. If I get a good position, I'm extremely good. And I'm, if I'm not, I'm extremely bad. But, but this is... I know that uh, maybe Knight C6 here or something. No, it's... Uh, I don't know, something. But d6, I don't think this is so good. And bishop f it looks like just some uh, yes is line, right? Just trying to get some position. Bishop b2, cancel. Castle. And, uh, yeah, I mean, probably just castle. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you could uh, you could face some serious pressure against d6 yes, pretty it, soon. If you take care, probably just bad. Yeah. Yeah. So he but. Um, but what do you do about the pressure against d6 then? I mean, what's, yeah, yeah. what to do? It has to be some. Uh, no, a book. Oh, it's not. Okay, so uh, we we uh, have yeah, a well, quick look at the computer. So bishop c3 is the recommendation. Yeah. Um, Where? I think after castles, castles, and then bishop c3 was the best move. Yeah. But that's not a good sign, right? It's no, probably on a low... 97 maybe, but yeah. um, it's, it's... Yeah, maybe 97 um, has to be tried. Yeah, but... But I still think it's just bad... Uh, just take on d6? Or? Yeah, you can take on d6, but then... Uh, yeah. There's some point to it as well for black, though. Even, even if though I just do something else, like... Let's say I go here. Yeah. Now knight c5, I have at least I can play e5. Yeah. And then... Uh, or maybe e5 from black, is that too risky? Yeah, yeah maybe I have to try. Mm. But it looks so very risky, but if you can get the knight on c5, um, maybe it's okay. Okay, so if, if white doesn't hurry, then positionally black could yeah. you know, untangle. Yeah, maybe it's like if you can do something like this. Now maybe rook d6 or something, but, <laughs> but no, maybe yeah, it's just... Um, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad now for black, in, in my opinion. Yeah. But I'm sure there's yeah, yeah. something concrete here. Uh, early prediction from you, Johan, who's the favorite in this in this game? In this game? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, white. White. Because okay. it's so good position. So uh, Mats Vespierlingsen is Johan's favorite uh, to win this game. We'll see, it would be yeah, a... You can also play b4, most people play b4. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so looking forward to that one. Um, Lars against the surprise, surprisingly uh, strong uh, Luke, uh, Ludwig uh, Karlsson, who's been uh, performing uh, enormously well. Yes. Played a fantastic uh, game against Fulda since yesterday. 
Yes. Um, but what, what what's the I guess what's your favorite uh, line against the London? I mean, With black. Yeah. I mean, do you go for this at all, or do you go for something else? Santa, I don't know. Um, I don't have a favorite. I don't think it's so easy to play something good with one black. No. Do you have a favorite? Uh, I, I, I think... usually go e6. Yeah. Um, when? I guess well, knight f6 first, maybe. And then knight d2, and then e6, yeah. knight f3, and then I take on d4. And yes. E D and Knight H five. Yeah, I think I played this myself. Yeah. But it's not so easy. It's no, it's not so easy. Yeah. I played it against Rune Duris in the Office Build Invitational and after a couple of moves my position was total crap. I, so uh, <laughs> I wanted to play this against Anders Hobber, but then <laughs> and I, then he played C D. No, right? I just realized that he would just Yeah, take of course it. he would, yeah. And just so, offer an instant draw by and looking then I, at you, right? Then I didn't dare to play it. No. So now I played something you else. You didn't dare to, to I didn't play dare. it. Yeah, it was yeah. a I don't know. But yeah. uh, you can also play without knight c6. Uh. Anders Robo is uh, perhaps the uh, Norway's most efficient player at killing the position. Yeah, with white. Removing all life after, from the position. After two moves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I was yeah. just sitting here and just, what, what can I play what here? To do, yeah. No idea. Also, after knight f6, it's not so easy to. But okay, try some. You can try to be a bit like ambitious with black. Try to keep the pawn on c5 and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, keep it complicated, yeah. Yeah, like happens if you just like do this and then you hope that white doesn't get anything probably queen b3 and uh, yeah queen a4 even yeah queen b3 and then i guess knight h4 is some knight ditch line i think he's been playing that as well this move yeah at some point maybe after queen b3 i'm not sure and then bishop e4 and yeah stuff ah like this yeah yeah you have to be prepared here yeah yeah, yeah definitely you can get sharp as well i think i like to play oh no actually this is quite interesting to take and then bishop f5 um knight f3 and then you just go e6 knight d2 and then f6 i think f6 okay yeah it's been played before so yeah i think this is some play by nils gandelius and then you go g5 and h5 and stuff i think it can become bad for black white if it if he plays normal moves yeah so. i think so i think so Okay. Maybe this is good for, like, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah this is interesting. But, more than um, playable, yeah. But it, only if white is playing into black sense. Yeah, but many but London players to, enjoy just, you know, uh, playing their I, system. Also bishop d6 here, I think. But probably, like, white can just, uh, the position will become so boring so quickly. Yeah, less, less ambitious with bishop yeah. d6, I guess. Yeah, probably. Cool GM insights here, guys. Yeah. Uh, let's this, look at uh, buy a secret, by the way. Nobody <laughs> can play it. <laughs> yeah, this is a trade secret from Jan Salomon, which is of course is off limits yeah. to you guys. But yeah, uh... so complete. <laughs> oh, this I also played this line once. Did you play this? Uh, I I've three. seen you you play it. Yeah, but I haven't done it. So it's yeah. quite interesting, but. Uh... I've seen you win games with this in the Norwegian, I guess, team championship yes. or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think it because I think I had this position before, something like this. Mm. But, and but this looks like total. I mean, it looks like nothing for white. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think it works. I think, but uh, it's a cool idea. Yeah, but I guess well, what's the point of e six then g four? I think e six is probably bad. Yeah. Yeah, and then you just go H, for the bishop. Yeah. H four and then. Uh, and then f g right. What. Mr. Volsom, when does Offerspiel Chess League start up again? Uh, not too long. Mr. Volsom will announce in due time, but uh, it's not going to be long until we we start season three. So just uh, just uh, keep an eye on social media for now. So F three and Rook C eight is played most. Yeah, but do you need to be well prepared here with black? Yeah, yeah. I think so. you can okay. lose like I think from uh, some nights you just go E four and stuff, mm. and uh, it works and. Uh, <laughs> Like, but I guess e, e6 is a bit naive though, right? Yeah, e6 is, yeah. That's that's not good enough. Uh, so Nice is not going to play e6, he's way too good no. to, to do that. g6 is played. I, like e6 here, I would guess, I mean sometimes, mm -hmm. can I guess that? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, it looks very maybe, good. But maybe you can do something. Oh, it, actually it's evil. And, and with d4, just to... Yeah, yeah, the most normal move, right? D, okay, bishop b5, knight d7 or something, then probably mm, g4, 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 right. g5. Looks yeah, it's like, ugly, um, yeah. Yeah, I just remember some, I think the, here is uh, e4, good. 
but it wasn't played even by uh, Kepa Vino. Hmm. Looks pretty so. pretty nasty for black if you don't. Yeah, I think uh, this attention. is kind of a good practically, and also you will not say yeah, it's white. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. By the way, white is a super strong GM. So Bishop yeah. D seven maybe. Yeah, it's possible if you want to play safe. Does not look like a, a move you would uh, be eager to make. I'm prepared though. Yeah, this I think this I think this is very good for white. I think white will win win actually. Yeah. Anita's rooting for uh, for uh, Lana, Sigve and uh, and Elman. Exciting chess, of course, we all do, and we'll see if Wodelsnes could, uh, I guess, whip up something against Linus Jansson today. He needs to win today for that to keep his uh, slim GM chances alive in this tournament. Yes. Okay, they play this. Do you have, did they play this before? Probably not. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not. This, is, uh, this is way too theoretical for me. So. Um, Usually, I I just learned that okay, this is still theory. So, but I think that white is better in this structure. If white doesn't, black doesn't do anything because uh, b six is kind of weakening the mm. c five. And the hanging pawns in the middle could get you know targets. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, because if the pawn is on b seven and the pawn on c six, probably it's fine for black and bishop c eight. Yeah, yeah. But here you have to do something, and c five can go get isolated. It's like the tilt to cover variation in the queen's gambit decline, I guess. But also black is a bit uh, active. But did you see Linus's game against Milton Panzar in the Offerspiel Invitational? No. It, well, that was with... This uh, time? Yeah, sort of similar. Yeah. Uh, and he played a fantastic attacking game. So he knows his stuff, Linus. We'll see if he can... Uh, if he can uh, surprise Folder today. Knight c3, knight c6. He isn't tempted by the knight c3, bishop e2 line. Which we could show. Oh. That would be greedy. But that's uh, probably theory. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so if you're greedy, then you will... Okay, you have problems here. Probably fall yeah. prey to your own greed here. Though. Yeah, and if this happens, then you will get some sort of uh, good bishop. Yeah. This looks at least unpleasant. Yeah, a very but small advantage, say, uh, but unpleasant, yeah. Like, let's just say this. Can you... Yeah, probably this is still unpleasant. Um, because, like, yeah, it's just... Basically, a, yeah, a game you can never win with black, I yeah, guess. Yeah, this looks just depressing to go for. Yeah. So, knight c6, and. I guess rook d1, or. Yeah, no? probably it looks. If like you could. Um, but now you can do the same line, taking on c3 and mm, taking on Just what, quickly, what happens if you take this? Is it some sort of uh, line here? Or do you. Looks I'm interesting. Not. Can't uh, Lars Oskar become a GM if he um, wins uh, the tournament? Uh, do you know how many GM norms Lars Oskar uh, has? Probably two? one. One? I thought one as well. So in that case, he needs another norm. So he needs two norms, and I guess he needs uh, the rating requirement as well. But if he wins the tournament, then I'm sure he's going to be pretty close on rating and probably get a norm if he meets all the requirements. He needs to face all three GMs, and Rune Jurus hasn't done too well. So he needs to face him as well. So we'll we'll see. Only three GMs, so you need a little luck as well. Yeah, as, uh, need to yeah. play against them. Mm. Yeah, I don't think Knight B4 here probably is the, the trick. Uh -huh. So uh, that's the point of Black's last move. Yeah, and now then and here, now we have Rook E8. Right. So this looks like it's probably this is theory then, since it's some tricks like that. Yeah, look as Linus's uh, time. He's been playing very yeah, fast. Yeah, maybe I think Black has control. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it's he maybe a draw or. Mm. Because, like, what is what's going on here? If you take this, probably just well, we have like some uh, options to confusing your position. Let's say I just take back, but then I can uh, take and then take on C5. C5. So and then, yeah, and then I can. Mm. So if it, if I take. Uh, that has the knight before us. Could you do some rook c8 here? Yeah. Or is that too yeah, fancy? Okay, you can do it, but I'm not that afraid of it with white because I can kind you of can leave, just leave it, leave it yeah. and try to mm -hmm. do something useful there. So I think I would be happy with this. Because that like, was the, the kind of trick Linus used against Milton in the last ah, round. Ah, that was the one. Yeah, and then he got lots of initiative, so we'll see. It just um, doesn't feel like... I, I just... Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nine if, rounds, yeah. If it's like a computer move, then suddenly. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
We'll see if I he's got something prepared here, uh, Linus. We'll see. So, but not before. Just quickly, queen b2. Queen f6. Yeah, ah, queen f6 is there. Okay, so now we're. Uh, now we're really, really approaching the yeah. left on uh, Linus game as well. Yeah, same now, kind of stuff. Knight f4 is nothing probably anyway. I mean, like it's better, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's knight b4 here. Okay. The, and if I go there, I'm not no longer doing stuff. So. Okay, so black's in time here. You could also just insert rook c8 at any point, I guess. Yeah, yeah I think it's too yeah, passive. Looks so, uh, uh, nice. A bit, uh, yeah, it also looks like well played by black. Yeah. To Frederick against Lucas Ronaldo. Well, who's your favorite here? I guess To Frederick, but um, he's not in super shape. Yeah, probably he's a bit higher rated and yeah. stuff, but Lucas is also very good. I lost against Lucas, so. Yeah. I know that he's a good player, but this opening looks. Uh, is this something new? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> D3, yeah. I guess it's been played before, but it's not. G6, E. And then E5 looks. Looks like. Okay, so he doesn't go for endgame. To me, it looks a bit ridiculous, but. Um, to go D3 with white? No, or? D3, I, say, I guess, okay, but. Yeah, uh, to take, but G6, E5, and then I guess both players have been playing ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> I mean. Tari played with black twice, and he played this once. Yeah, and he won it's, against Fan Forest. And he won, so. Yes. And also you can like check. Lots of Dutch players been playing this with uh, with the white pieces. Okay. Giri and Van Forest, who's quite close, I guess. Um, Bishop B. Okay, so what is the point? You now, j but Arian played C five. Let's just follow that game for a while. H three, Bishop F five. So it doesn't give up the bishop. Oh, okay. I really dislike to take there because you're just. Yeah. Moving the There's no white good reason. Yeah, it's just giving up the bishops and it looks... And then he played bishop f5 because then you're kind of challenging this uh, construction mm. with the pieces and... Uh, looks clumsy. It looks... Uh, yeah, but also... I mean... Black is, hasn't done that much himself. He played d4. And hello to Wallace Chess. Nice to have you watching with us here on Twitch. We'll see how John Paul fares today against Axel Brugale. Yeah. But he played bishop g7, so h3, and then he just took, and I don't like But his, I guess um, this is the dream position for white, because yes, he wanted yes. to trick black into playing g6, yeah. and then he went e5 to block the bishop, and then he got the yeah, bishop pair this as well. is, uh, even, even though this is like black's bad bishop, the bishop pair is very good for white. Also, I don't like this bishop on g7. No, it needs like to this go to f8. Is, he just lost to Tempe, and he, still it's bad. Mm. So it's like, let's say white, with white, I would probably want to go... I don't know if I would, maybe, probably I d4. d4, I guess d4, Perhaps what is black doing, let's say bishop e7, knight e7, and then bishop d3, like even castles h4, h4 right? yes, yeah. h5 is also, <laughs> and always f6 is, very loose, yes. it just still doesn't solve this problem. And c5, c3, and there's no, there's no pressure against the center, right? Yeah, that's the, just, that's the only white issue to kind of stop the, the pressure. Mm. But this, like, c3, knight c6. Probably black will just delay castling a bit. Um, and they could get some, but I still think something like this is good for white. Take, take, like, uh, knight f5. Yeah, take, take, knight f5. Maybe not that bad now. Hmm. I would still choose white, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I still, guess. like, bishop g5 is possible. Yeah, queen and b6. Queen b6. Maybe a c3 is, is passive, I'm you can't, not sure. You, yeah, you can't try to... c4, take. I'm not sure. c4? Yeah, maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Just trying to blast things up, but... Uh, but then, like, then I feel like this bishop... Suddenly and, makes sense. And this yeah. knight also... Mm. But it's still possible, I don't, I don't know. But I wouldn't be so confident with c4, maybe it's a good move. But uh, it's not so easy to play. No, it looks a bit, um, I guess, uh, desperate. Hmm. And if you take, you can also take sometimes, but then knight d7 and then, um, okay, so maybe you have to be very, very good in this position here. Yeah, to feel yeah, like needs to be precise. Yeah, maybe actually, if you, maybe you can play, try to stop c5 somehow, be prophylactic. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how, but we can see what, what he will do, so. Yeah, maybe c3 right, right away and be ready with b4, dc and b4. I'm yeah, sure. maybe that's, that I was thinking about that. Yeah. Yes. 
that's uh, something you should be yeah. thinking about. Looks promising for White. We'll see uh, John Paul against 11 year old uh, Kvale. Uh, okay. Looks like a Slav uh, Tarnikov. Yeah, I don't okay, know. So I have knight, no idea what this he is. He went knight d2, which is, I guess is not the normal setup, but looks looks okay. Yeah. Oxobicola is uh, is 11, yes. He may, maybe he's 12, I'm not sure, but he's very young and very promising. He did very well in the Offerspiel Invitational back in June as well. I do like the normal move. Like, sometimes you're going to take this. I think I would probably do that and try to play b5. Mm -hmm. I just remember that that's what I do in these positions. And that's more critical. It's least. more critical and then stuff happens. a4, c6, yeah. Yeah. But h6 castles, then e3, and then um, okay. well, knight d7. But I guess you, you would want your knight on c3, right? Or is it better on d2 here? Um, in this position. I'm I just sure. I always feel that my knight belongs on c3 in positions like this when I have both. Yeah, I think it's probably better on c3, but I don't think you're allowed to get like this comfortable. No, like because if it's you a go, trade off. Yeah, if you go like this. Like e3, black is not playing like knight d7, like h6, knight no, d7. You're, you're playing c5 or something more critical. Mm. So, uh, or like bishop g5. Here you can go h6 here. Yeah, and g5. And then, then and if bishop, yeah, and this, then you take and stuff, you disrupt the white the position. Yeah. So here the normal just takes. So I agree, I think you, you want to have the knight on c3, but. But wasn't all, possible. Oh. But all, but all, even though the knight is on d2, I like white here. Okay. Yeah, and rook c1, it looks very harmonious and easy to play with white though, so I'm sure C6. John Paul likes this. Yeah, position. this this doesn't look so good for black. Looks like yeah, white is just a bit better. Lots of holes in the black position, yeah. Yeah, also the like c6 and bishop b4 usually never go together no. that well, I think, but he will probably just move it back to e7 and try to be solid. Yeah. So. Reason for this is to put all his pawns, center pawns, yeah, on white squares, awesome. and then he uh, yeah. goes to b4 with the bishop, but he doesn't really want to exchange that off anyway. So, so but interesting stuff happened. Rook e8, castles, bishop d6. Um, going now, for e5, I guess. Yes, going for e5. White by d4 first. Takes, takes, bishop e7. Yeah, still, I think white is better. The bishop on c8 is not that good. It's just a better position. Mm. And if you could uh, trade off the dark square bishops, then c5 would be uh, would be a very nice move. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. This is like some sort of uh, yeah cattle and stuff. Yeah, looks like a promising position, bright, and you're uh, <laughs> you're. <laughs> You're getting uh, lots of praise for your last name in Thank the you. chat. That's good. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, Lara, black against uh, Jacob. Yes. Oh, E3. Is that played then these days? <laughs> and then B6. Only by me and Anna Hagen, I guess. Yeah, uh, didn't uh, uh, thought it gave an advantage. No, it doesn't. We are very satisfied with draws with white, so <laughs> that's good. B6 from Lara. Yeah, B6, I think knight D2 is what, like the most critical here. Uh, I think I've seen this before, like stuff like that. Yeah, it takes in D5. D5 takes, takes, king takes. I think there's even a uh, sec. Yeah, no. it doesn't work though, but. Uh, I think I've, I, I had this position with black. So Queen F3 here though. Yeah, and and then G4 angle. G4, I think yeah. I lost this, probably it's my game. Is... Yeah, that didn't happen. Okay, bishop D3. Um, c5 here, yeah, this is, what's this? I really do prefer to have my knight on e2 in these knight. positions. But uh, yeah, knight With a4, white? yeah. Knight, knight a4, a4. Or yeah, this is just the line. Uh, yeah. Td a3, right? Rook e8, oh, a3 first, yes. I think so, just to avoid bishop Yeah, it's eight. also possible, yeah. And then d6 is come kind of hedgehog stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's not so easy for white, I think. No, it's a very complicated position. Yes. And lot, lots of theory doesn't help you here, really, because yeah. you have to understand the head joke at least a bit, so... No plans. Mm. Too complicated for me, I guess. And we'll see how uh, Lana solves this. She took on d4, played rook e8 immediately. Um, rook e8. Okay, so we, she got this setup at least. Yeah, That's bishop it. d2 is probably not that... Bishop bad. takes f3, according to Kedal, and knight c6 is a good idea. When, uh, Foda? Here. I guess here, yeah. Or... And then knight c6. 
It's been played actually last year, a very nice idea, putting pressure on the center. And if uh, bishop e3, um, then you just take on c3 and play rook c8. Bishop e3. Just, uh, I mean, take on c3 and rook c8, play against the pawns. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Very nice uh, practical idea, I guess. Yes. Matthias Underland, he's from um, Ålesund, I think. Against Conor O'Donnell, who is not from Ålesund, he's from Ireland. Knight c6, d6. Is this possible? <laughs> I guess. Conor is looking for an upset, I guess, against, or not an upset, but uh, an, a win today. He's been playing a lot of draws and he's playing uh, is this the French think... defense usually. Yeah. So and I think he played this. Some Nimsovic line. Yeah. And then suddenly the pick. Yeah. But with the knight on c6. Mm -hmm. Looks committal to a certain setup. I mean, you, you lose all the c6, b5 lines, which are quite fun with black. Or potentially at least. Yeah. Okay, so you get. But you should. You sh I guess you should. Uh, well, I, at least I prefer to go D E here, take on E five. That's my kind of position. <laughs> and then an exchange of everything. Yeah, and then you take or what? Do yeah, you? I do, and bishop C four, I guess. And I claim a microscopic it's advantage, this. but it's probably not there, I guess. Um, yeah. It's a bit like the d3 line uh, for Trofedric against Lucas. I mean, you can get an endgame, but it's it's comfortable, but it's not advantageous, I guess. Yeah. And this is quite sharp. Yeah, I think I've seen this before. Um, d3? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about this myself. Yeah, you can, like, yeah, I think you can. But I guess they transpose to some Rosolimo here, because uh, after e5 and knight g4, it's takes quite takes. common. And if it takes, I think uh, this is... Is this... Looks um, like a quite nice version of this. Um, because that knight usually goes to e8, c7, e6, right? Or d5? Yeah, and mm. now it's here. Is that good or bad for black? Uh, probably. I, I like this kind of position, because you can just... It's like so easy to just play these moves. Yeah, and, uh, lots of easy moves for white. Mm. Yeah, and you can play a4. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay, like so the Rune decides to break up the Yeah, position. so he tries to destroy the center. Knight takes. So knight e4. Yeah, so now it depends if like uh, white can... Uh, Put pressure on these uh, pawns here. Mm. But if uh, Rune gets his center rolling, then this could get quite ugly for white. With two bishops and everything, but we'll see. Knight e4 is a good move if he takes, then I'm sure you'll do queen takes or de. I was thinking taking with the pawn looked okay. But yeah, also taking with the pawn, try to play e5. and It looks, um, at least if you trade this bishop, then black position will be horrible. Yeah. But that's why maybe I thought if you just, you can also... Queen if takes you take queen, with the queen h4 or something. Yeah, d6 is not even possible. e5 it also looks very... Okay, it's queen, c, queen c4. Queen just. c4 wins the pawn. Yeah, so now maybe it's already bad for, for black. Mm. What to do? I mean, maybe, Mom. yeah. Now we have this weak pawn. And I can try to trade and if I can control b5. Yeah, also worth uh, sacrificing the pawn on b2 if you could uh, exchange those bishops, I guess. Uh, just bishop f4 next move. Then. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, Rune needs to prove that he's not worse. Alan, we've got some moves here as well. And it's another London system. All right. Yes. Um, bishop. What's the difference? Okay. Is there the same no position? Same position, right? Board two. But they only played so many moves. Is it? Is he really thinking? Uh, <laughs> Maybe he was late to the game because we didn't receive any moves until just now. Here, so. also here it happens stuff. 
Okay, I'll just see. He, he played the... Uh, Bishop d3, was it? The knight was on f6 probably. In this. Okay, yeah. right, right. He played e6 first. So Bishop d3 looks, uh, looks uh, a bit compliant uh, to me. Looks uh, to me stupid to me. Looks tame, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, or stupid. it's not bad, <laughs> but it just looks like with white you... Because let's say I take and I go queen b6. Um, like... Yes, yeah. take queen b6. Queen e2 looks very uh, unharmonious because now you can't move the knight to d2. So queen c2, but then you know rook c8 stuff. Yeah, so now queen e2, and you like kind of have the wrong bishop, and probably it might be slightly worse. And maybe you have to take on c5. What are now? you gonna? Do? What now? Yeah, maybe. Take a bit. With something. Yeah, if you do bishop takes, yeah, and it's I go not worse. It's not worse, but it's mm. it's um, not the move you usually see. Queen b6 also suggested by Fordurkedal. Queen b6 immediately? Is that the move? Probably after takes. Oh, immediately. If you're completely crazy, maybe. Fordur is calculating like a no, maniac. No, you, you cannot do this, though. Can you? No. Looks a bit risky, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like Fordur is hammering out suggestions, and then he is... Uh, yeah, acknowledging uh, its riskiness afterwards. I think this is... <laughs> yeah, it's probably not I mean, a good that idea. queen won't get out alive, I guess, but uh, well, maybe it will. At least it's, uh, completely it's, losing. it's completely losing, <laughs> according to the computer. I don't know what it meant. Okay. Probably in another... Computer position. just wanted to play bishop e6 and uh, fe and knight d2 and claim uh, development advantage, so yeah. Okay, we'll look at the first board again. Matthias Bjellingsen from Tromsø against Norman Smiesis from, uh, I guess, uh, Latvia, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, b4. So it didn't, probably something wrong with bishop e2, probably. Mm. Or it's just a great novelty. <laughs> so if you cast was, uh, yeah, you, you can take and then knight bd7 here. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do that. And then okay, maybe it's still bad for Yeah. But at least you get this knight c five. Yeah. And then I, and then I the wanted defense. to play e five as fast as yeah, possible. Yeah, but also you can just play this first and then it Alright, oh, just cover everything. Yeah. yeah. So play B four I think I've seen this. B four looks principal and then he's developing. This looks like uh, some weird snake Benoni from uh, Mises with the bishop on c seven. He's been playing that before as well. Weird stuff. Knight c6, castles a5, and then b5. a5, yeah, that's very ambitious. But it's, yeah, now we will play knight a5 or knight b4. Is they thinking about knight b4? Hmm. Maybe? Or, or knight b8 going around to c5, but that looks very time consuming. Yes. Can't work, I guess. Bishop a3 and. Yeah. Yeah, bishop a3. Yeah. I guess after b5, how much time has uh, Norman Smith spent? Uh, okay, so he's down to one hour and eight minutes, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but he's uh, ten minutes behind. Mats Vesbjerg Lingston clock, which is uh, well, approximately an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll keep a, a watchful eye on board one, and you can also do that as well uh, in the small board. Down to down to the right on your screen, you can also see the live camera, live camera action from the uh, playing venue here in Oslo. And of course, use the uh, use the command games in uh, in the Twitch uh, chat to 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 get access to the uh, leeches broadcasts. So you can scroll through and flick through the games at your own pace. I was just thinking, maybe like. Maybe he could have done something here to prevent a5. Yeah, because to me a5 looks like you know some sort of achievement for yeah, but for that, like even knight b4. What? Like, yeah. That looks annoying. Yeah. Okay. So I guess you take. I mean, just. Oh, you do. I mean, it's a normal response, I guess. Okay. But it, it doesn't look pretty. Knight d1 looks ah, terrible. Ah, you want to do that? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's I just um, you know I'm not sure if the b pawn is weak or not, but uh, it looks slow for white as well. But bishop b six maybe. Yeah. 
to C5, but it looks very slow. I'm not sure what's going on. Hmm. No, me neither. It's complicated and definitely something misses. Black has some uh, squares. Looking at, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's the computers as a black equal. Yeah, b5, but knight b8, bishop a3, your point yeah. is so much developed that. Looks like trouble, yeah. The square. So I guess knight e5 is the automatic move, but knight b4 looks tempting. I guess knight b4 would be my preference. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's look at uh, Lajoska again. Queen b6 played by Ludwig, who's been uh, doing yeah. well. Yeah, I don't like this. And Ludwig is way ahead on the clock as well. Why did Lajo spend so much time here on bishop d3 and stuff? I mean, he, play, he thought for 20 minutes yeah. on knight f3. I mean, he's played the London a bunch of times, so I guess he must have known this already. But uh, after queen b6, I, I prefer black. Yeah, me too. I think it's also, I think black might be slightly better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Definitely for preference here, black. Strange, very strange. Yeah, Why would maybe we'll see another upset by Mr. Carlson today. Mm. How about the rating favorite of the tournament? Uh, the Danish uh, Biera Grandmaster playing against Italian uh, Francesco Solnis. Mm. So after the F3 move, he did uh, rook C8. Yes. Bishop f4? No, I didn't. I think uh, I don't know, but he is be probably better prepared even so. Fulda wants uh, Lajoska to sack the pawn on b2 with knight with knight t2. That would definitely be in Lajoska's character, Fulda. So I'm sure we'll see some sacrifice pretty soon to uh, you know murky the waters, muddy the waters, I guess. Yes. Um, but uh, knight t2 here. Knight t2. Yeah. But yeah. I guess Black doesn't even have doesn't, to take the pawn. I it mean, doesn't it doesn't do anything. No. But, okay, white black is not better. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Queen b6, rook c1. Comfortable start though for the Swedish uh, candidate master. He also sacked on b2. Right. Probably just blunder that one. Not. So, uh, pff, I mean, e4. <laughs> looks so loose, but. Huh. I didn't really get bishop f4 though. What's the point? No, me neither. I don't think that was what I was planning to do. It's also mm. not played a lot, but he's played it pretty quickly. Yeah. And, then he, and rook c1. Okay, queen b2 looks very crazy. Yeah. But uh, you could take on d4 as well. Would you could consider that? Yeah. With the... Uh, well, I guess with the queen, but... Uh, queen? Is it too crazy? If you have any favorite uh, in the tournament, guys, feel free to give them a shout out in the in the chat. Um, we'll try to look at all the live games, all ten live games uh, in, in due, yeah, due looks, time. Okay, so maybe this is some takes takes just e three. Okay, <laughs> this is like yeah, uh, high level stuff. So prepared. That it's it smells like preparation from Jonas uh, Bulbiera. And then uh, Bishop a6 trapping the rook. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is just preparation, probably. Then it doesn't make any sense what one <laughs> no, is doing, no, but no. the computer <laughs> likes it, probably. Computer, uh, I, I guess, has been working double time for Jonas uh, Bjerna on this stuff. Full SNES. Lots of stuff has happened here. Uh, he took on e4 twice. This no, once. He took knight before with with even. And then, then queen f6. We said like I said rook e8. Yeah, but Let's maybe see. knight e5 then. Yeah, maybe yeah knight e5. So he's going for the other rook, no, I guess. Thanks. So he's played queen f6, and he has been thinking. Yeah, so he he spent actually 15 minutes on this Linus, which tells me that he's not in the preparation anymore and. I guess food is out of the woods, so to speak, when it comes to being caught out by preparation. So we'll see how he responds now for that. One hour and 10 minutes left on this uh, clock. Plenty of time, of course, to figure this out. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think it looks a bit desperate for black, but take, take, you have a pawn up. Yeah. And I have better pawn structure. 
So okay. you're like really hoping that it matters so much. What about knight e5 here? Yeah, then f4 you mean? Uh, Rook e, you play this. Ah, uh, you can... Yeah, because you this I was like... Knight e7 maybe? I was thinking knight e7, but maybe even... Maybe it doesn't work. And, uh, maybe it works. Maybe this fine lab could also do rook d1 there though but ah rook d1 here yeah maybe yes i mean it lo looks better for white doesn't it yeah yeah so but you thought this rook and then f4 yeah maybe as, or, as, as an option yeah like i have options no i don't okay not yeah like i i cannot think about this position properly but maybe f4 why not? Yeah. And then white is looks like. Just I mean, a, a three is coming. A no, eight just, is hanging. Just so completely winning. Looks yeah, like looks it. very convincing. So, <laughs> knight e five. Then, but Linus uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> has probably been looking at this. But so. as well, also this rook, like I don't need to complicate stuff. Maybe just f five, f four, sorry. Yeah. I mean, this looks uh, so pretty, queen pretty good. six. You take. I was. So I guess black you have to do something else here now. Okay. Yes, I'm threatening this. Uh huh. Right. Which complicates matters. Then you take. Yeah, and then your suggestion knight e5 looks very strong. Also a3 looks okay. Yeah, everything. Just uh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. A slightly worried for for Linus. Yeah, I like knight e5. Yeah. Because if it's not getting disturbed, then I can go f4 and. Yeah, yeah it's just complete. It's just, he's just busted. Yeah. He is actually busted. Yeah. yeah. But what, wow. Okay. Yeah, he was already busted after, <laughs> after this, <laughs> which <laughs> okay. is very funny. Uh, so. And I was bragging about Linus's home preparation all all opening, and then he's busted. All right. Sorry, Linus, for jinxing that yeah, one. Not this one immediately was, yeah, also. I'll probably get the blame when this comes out and Linus finds out that I was, you know, giving him praise for his opening preparation and then he just goes down in flames. But uh, maybe he manages to fight his way out of it. Lucas has been playing, um, I guess, he's mm. been speeding up a bit. So C, D4, he just he went C5 immediately. Actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. C3, D6, Queen B6, Bishop D2, Knight C6. This was what you were talking about. Yeah. So maybe and then bishop c3 and I guess white is under control, but looks a bit passive with the bishop on c3. Yeah. Um, it wasn't that easy as I thought. But uh, but still, I mean, white is for preference. Uh, what is black supposed to do here? I guess there's no real um, break for black. I mean, f6 is always risky. Always slightly worse. And you could also go for h4 with white at any moment. Like Once uh, the center is stabilized, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because you're not even doing anything there. Yeah, you could go. You could go. Like if I go this, this is probably queen fine for black. Or just. Like, yeah. Okay. Or queen. Or I queen a4 though. Yeah, I was just thinking about this like in general, but. Yeah. Um, it's probably double edged, but um, bishop to e seven. Yeah, to it's okay. Black has some some factors, but I can also go bishop e two, and just try to just control everything. Yeah, and then g four, h four, b four. You know everything. Yeah. For the agrees with you, Johan. It's uh, according to him, it's uh, close to yeah, close to potentially lost for black. <laughs> That's you know no, positionally. a real hedge for from uh, Urkidal there. No, posi Co positionally. Yeah, close to positionally. Okay. Not right. potentially. Not potentially. That would be a, a well hedged yeah, no, bet. Be nice. Okay, so positionally, black is doing terrible. Yeah, Could this looks. Ter I think this is very good, and then castle and just completely defend everything, and then you just roll over. Probably black has to play f6. And <laughs> then you roll over. <laughs> yeah, if not, I mean, uh, because... Yeah, so you should go f6 at some point, so I guess white should just prepare for it. So, but you, you go f6, take, take, and then yeah, rookie white rookie. is slightly better. Yeah, or link, or. To, link to the live games, you could use the command games uh, in, in the chat. 
and uh, and you could uh, you could flick through them at your own pace there. It's the uh, Leeches broadcast function, so uh, feel free to do that. The uh, games command. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, my! Hey, 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 um, <laughs> just called it. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so it looks like at least it looks in, like in this position you you th thought about playing c5 after trading yeah. the dark squared bishops. Yeah, and then what happened? And then everything just happened and uh, <laughs> right. But this like probably like some kind of experience you need to have with black because some exper like uh, an older player would probably not go into this with black. No, because so, I, I've lost quite badly uh, when I was younger with black in a position like this and I never did it again. Yeah. It was so pretty painful. So. Yeah, it's a bit uh, like counterintuitive to give away the d5 square, but it's white has so many other squares and you can trade it off. Yeah. And you have the d6 square for the knight and other stuff. If black goes b5, it's probably even worse, I think. The bishop is dead on c8. The bishop is dead, the knight on e5 will be very good. And white can just improve. The very good point about uh, giving up the d5 square you made there, Johan, because black can only have one piece on the d5 square, so it's not really a big deal, uh, and you could also trade it off. So. Yeah, if you could magically move the bishop to d5. Um, yeah, then of course you'll, you'll be doing fine, but the bishop is, well, pretty close to, uh, to dead on b7 and c8. So this is the position now. Um, but okay, white still needs to win, but um, I think it's very bad for black. It's a very good start for John Paul. Definitely, yeah. he's showing his experience here today. Uh, yeah. How about Lara against Jacob? All right. So we were following some Nimzo line. I guess both players so have white. prepared something. Lara looks uh, the better prepared player to me today. Playing very fast, confidently. Yeah, so white did some strange, strange trade, and I don't really. That's not something you want to. No, white, right? no, I don't think so. I think uh, black is very, very happy. C four is weak, Let's and if you play B three, then D so five is stronger. Probably black is thinking about D five. Yeah. Um, or sure E five, E five or D five, but E five gives away some squares. Yeah. So you don't want to do that, I think. Because you're giving away, but you could, but um, but if you go, she played h6, bishop f4, now maybe d5. Yeah, looks very, uh, very Trying tempting. to get the um, isolated pawns. So rook c1, maybe you can take, and then this is weak, and uh, like yeah. this is like the bad white, white ones to avoid. Probably already just bad. No. Yeah, just uh, don't take on a3 here though. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. But, the, but uh, already after d5, it's, yeah, it's, it's already a clear bad. advantage. It's so black, just yeah. weak. Yeah. So, how about um, Olusun against Ireland on board 8? Isn't it on against O'Connell? O'Donnell, I mean. O'Connell is the <laughs> other, other Irish name, I guess. Some sort of King's Indian uh, lookalike here, I guess. A6, B5 incoming from black. Has to be good for white, but... Uh, this looks very slow though, the black attack here. Extremely slow. Maybe bishop d3? I think I have time to just do that. Uh, it's actually played before. Boom mm. smearing and black actually won. But uh, yeah, because uh, what is black's... This happened. Let's see what happened. And then knight e2. C5, C6. C6. So, okay. he has, so he got C6 in. Takes knight takes C6. Now bishop C4. Okay. But maybe it was still... Uh, I'm not sure if black is doing well here. But at least he won the game. Yeah, he won the game. So, uh, so there are yeah. some chances. But uh, so, so he, yeah, I mean, the, my point was that uh, this the attack here is uh, very slow. And white can play... Never is it. But. No. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what uh, Matthias can do against uh, Connor. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so 94. We left the game after 1294. He played so. d6 immediately without taking. Yeah. Now bishop h6, trying to trade the black. Wow. So that's excellent. Excellent, excellent move. 
Just bit of takes to take. Yeah. Um, it's very uncomfortable already for, for Black. Yulius has been struggling in this tournament, one of our three GMs, but he's, he's not being on the top of his game. Bishop g4 takes h3 and... Um, he should take, because if not, it, okay, maybe not safe, but if he does it goes back, he will have a bad bishop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it's, okay. takes and... Uh, let, let's say you take on e4 then. Yeah, because now... Yeah, okay, let's say take. And then I guess you do queen or rook takes. Maybe but, rook takes actually. Yeah, and double up. But, and then, but you know, black, black's just uh, passive here, I guess, with yeah. a, a double pawn and a yeah, four incoming. Probably against. not good, but I could try. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not so, it's not. Rook a1, queen g3. Or queen d2, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, white is better pawn structure. Yeah. And he can play like move like rook a4 mm. and uh, already yeah yeah all the time. So uh, so it is very difficult for black to win this game if he takes. Yeah. Also, if he goes back, where are you going there? Yeah. Also slightly better better for whites. Mm. I'm sure Fulda in the chat would agree. Grandmaster Fulda could always been following the. Um, the broadcast for the last couple of days. Very lucky to have him uh, with us. Uh, tenth board, uh, Gustav Torgan against Erlen uh, Nielsen. Another London. It doesn't look uh, too uh, too convincing for White this either. Uh, no, C board. This is uh, pretty well known stuff, I think. And then Black is going for B5. So B3, you're in time. Yeah, I guess. What do you do? B5? B3, B5, and Bishop B2, B4. Or really? I think Is that theory? I don't know. I think it's uh, because this you have before. This before yeah, and this is some shit. This doc yeah, some, some <laughs> prepared this, stuff. Some yeah. disaster. Yeah, I think it's uh, looks like a disaster. Oh, well, we should be five, but, but it just shouldn't work, right? Get away the knight. <laughs> King f one. <laughs> King f one. Yeah. A six. Oh, quite clever, clever move. A6. King f one. Ah, because you cannot even. You can't anything. take it. Okay. Yeah, this is very bad. Okay, so uh, looks like Erlen uh, has come prepared to the game today with a very nice London preparation. We'll see if he, if she gets in b5, b4. Bishop e2. And then just go for b5, right? Immediately. Yeah. And then I wanted to just... I can do this. To trying to try to... Bishop d6 has been played here and... Uh, you don't don't care about that. Yeah, I isn't Bishop E four quite thematic after Knight H four? I think so. Bishop E four. I guess you could do F three, but it doesn't look uh, doesn't look that doesn't look nice. Oh, but okay, maybe I can go F three though, and then uh, E four at some point, maybe E four yeah, immediately maybe. or something, mm. and uh, makes some sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah. Bishop g6 is also. Yeah. Okay. Interesting stuff, at least. Uh, lots of games to go through here. If you have a favorite game you'd like us to pay extra close attention to, feel free to give us a mention in the chat and we'll, we'll accommodate you. How about, uh, how about the first board now? Let me just crack this open. Yes. Hey, there we go. He played knight e5. I'll just have some food. Hmm. Knight e5 surprised me a bit. We were so confident he would go knight b4, but uh, okay. Hmm. He's experienced, Mises, so I'm sure he knows uh, he knows his stuff here, but. Um, we are out of a well-known opening theory at least and they've spent quite a lot of time on the first 12 moves he spent almost well, i guess over 25 minutes almost on this move which is quite telling he's not sure how to proceed mm. maybe it's still kind of fine for black because the, where are you putting your quid Hmm. Well, queen is the normal move, but uh, bishop b6 then. 
Queen D2 looks very strange to me, but mm -hmm. okay. I'm not sure. I guess there's some point to the white setup as well, but uh, it, it feels like black should be doing fine here. Is this a maneuver, or do you want to wait yeah, for it for? Maybe. Hmm. No, yeah, maybe that is knight d seven. Let's see. But knight a four can be played. No, knight a four, and then e four is hanging. Well, just take it. F three. F three, but then bishop b six. Yeah. And that stuff. Mm. <laughs> <Mate>. <laughs> some coffee house opening okay well interesting to see um how uh, where Mats puts his queen i wouldn't be too confident with white i mean there are some holes in the black uh, in the white position especially c5 is a very nice square for black hmm. all right well how are you doing, Lars Oskar? <laughs> you played b3. This looks like the first time uh, Lars Oskar has played the London, but uh, it's, it's not so... <laughs> it looks like the first time he's playing chess. <laughs> well, uh, it looks like Lars Oskar is just trying to get some position, but uh, this is not the greatest opening success in uh, the history of chess, I can uh, assure, assure you. Hmm, yeah. b3 is not a move you want to make. I don't know. I mean, he had to be... He was probably afraid of something after knight a2, because he's very capable of uh, sacrificing a pawn. <laughs> yeah, more than capable. Um, more than capable of sacrificing. So maybe takes is something... I guess he's dreaming of sacrificing pawns. Maybe this isn't something. Maybe th maybe c4 or something, like... Right? Uh, queen a2 and what queen do you a2 queen a1. And a long castle. Yeah, oh, or just queen a1, forcing knight b1. Yeah. Looks queen terrible. a1, yeah, yeah, queen a1 is also hard. Longcastle wins the rook it was almost. A, it, it was mostly a joke, <laughs> but... Uh, f7 uh, hangs still. Wait, Longcastle and the rook sits. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, right. But, so um, well alive. yeah, but queen a1. So uh, that's, that's, uh, this is more <laughs> likely. And here he hates to trade queens, so queen a6 or something, and then the line stops. So. <laughs> and the calculation <laughs> stops. <laughs> calculation <laughs> c4. <laughs> It would be nice to see uh, some sort of attacking manual with Los Oscar. Just a bunch of lines avoiding uh, the exchange of points. Oh, yeah. No, it, probably knight d2, queen b2, then is No. Oh, actually, it does. Computer just checking. Takes. Yeah. Okay, it was interesting. And interesting, but it doesn't look too. I mean. No, I yeah. don't. Oh, it, actually, this is the, the line. It's like. This is the main line. So that's the nice. reason. Because c4. C4. Was, was, oh, oops. Was bad. Mm. Just bishop c5. So that's ah, why he played b3, yeah. but b3 is um, it's very unattractive. Yeah. But in the London, you can make so many mistakes and it doesn't even matter. And now queen a6 anyway. <laughs> Lazuska must be uh, frustrated. I have to trade queens anyway, even after calculating all those long lines and then queen a6 immediately. <laughs> Bummer. Well, it's not the end of the world, you could just take it. But um, I'm not Probably sure. Probably you are going to. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to. C4 is not that nice. I mean, then bishop b4 is such a tempo. Yeah, and c4, c4 and d4 is weak. I mean. You're going. Most likely, you will just take. He's not in uh, family, or he's not in. Uh, he's not related to King Solomon uh, Sarmaria. He is King yes. Solomon. Uh, speaking to the king, king himself. B A six. Um, probably we'll see this on the board pretty soon if Lazoska can uh, get mm. himself to trade queens. B four. Oh, looks. And then just put something on C five. <laughs> Uh, are you in time though, Rook C8? I guess you are, just... Yeah. Uh, knight somewhere. <laughs> uh, no, not to B8, you can take it, but... <laughs> <laughs> just, I uh, don't know, Rook, uh, Knight E7. You cannot say somewhere... Uh, knight E7? No, the other Knight. 
You're making bad moves by... Uh, <laughs> to make oh, okay, okay, I can't do that because now you're Rook C1. Knight yeah. D8. By uh, process of elimination. Knight D8? Yes, to avoid Rook C1. <laughs> Such a strong player. <laughs> so, so cheap. And then back. Yeah, yes. I just... Then back. <laughs> okay, Knight D8 is actually not bad. Okay, so... This is actually this is actually a serious line. That's <laughs> yeah. the thing. But maybe just some end game, end, end game serious. principles. I'll still go. Okay. Well, I can't go knight yet now. It's pointless. Knight yet. Uh, I'm very happy to play king this. <laughs> yes. It's pointless now chasing your king into activity. Ludwig is playing the player, not the position. He's playing uh, Lars Oscar like a. Uh, and in poker, I guess. Like the, uh, trying to make uh, Rajoska uncomfortable by uh, offering a, an exchange of queens. Yeah. He wouldn't do that against Christian Stuykholm, though. Then he would be eaten alive. Then he would be eaten alive yeah. after Christian's consumed a whole big one or something. I guess. Well, I think this position is very good for white. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the, the idea with king e2 and king d3 just solves this weak pawn on c3 problem. So, uh, very beautiful coordination. B4, but avoiding A5, of course, that's the point. Yes, and if A5, of course, B5, that's yeah. the whole, yeah. everything is... Uh, yeah, and then black and is And then crack. black is gonna, the, the pawn is weak, like, if yeah. you move the knight... A4, is, maybe? A4, maybe, and knight then... Knight to B3. Uh, yeah, and then white is a better developed and stuff. So, I think black needs to be very, very, very precise. Yeah. I think, I mean, rook B8, trying to play A5. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was about to suggest A4, so I'm just, I'm just happy you said Ah, A4, it but A4 is even better. Because even it's better, even more yeah. instructive. It wins a tempo on the rook, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yes. <laughs> but rooks, rook c8, king e2. B4 is a difficult move, no? From uh, Strovik to find, yeah, ah, for, maybe. For, no, but not for Lars Oscar. No, because, uh, probably, but he, he needs to find the king e2 idea, though, but it, it should come as uh, pretty natural to him. It should come natural, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then black is not very well developed, but let's maybe. say black tries to do something like this. Knight h5, though, maybe, but just bishop b3 or. Knight h5 here. Yeah, maybe. Can yeah. I just go here? Yeah. What's um, the point? <laughs> threaten the bishop. Yes. F5, go yeah. maniac. Yeah, you can try. Yeah, you can try, um, but you can lose as well. Yeah. But I think like if white gets this, um, that was just my thought, that this is probably not what you want to like. No. Even though this is weak square and like theoretically. Knight e4, rook c1 or something. Yeah, you have some actually black to white to move. Okay, so rook c1 then immediately. Don't know which rook this. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking about you know knight d6 or something, but uh, but black needs to get this f6 e6. This will be square. very annoying at some point. But yeah, uh, and then you need to take it. And also, white needs to consider to what it's going to do here. Maybe yeah. also a4 b5, and um, it's a very positional thing. Thing. Yeah, this could uh, actually turn out to be a um, positional grind from Rosowska after a. <laughs> And A, B, C, how not to play the London opening. He, uh, he's he been doing pretty well the last couple of moves. All right, yeah, so we'll just, see. Uh, I'm, I just have to just check the computer. I'm too yeah. curious. A5 immediately, best chance. No, rook okay. c8. So rook c8 is king e2 the, the castles. But yeah, the just computer is changing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Johan is claiming... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't understand the, this. The computer doesn't understand the position no. at all. No. no. It only calculates. Uh, it says castles, just. but still, this is better for white. Like that was the point. Okay. Yeah, of course. King e two. It says something like f six and trying to. And then uh, yeah. What's the point? G five, I guess. Ah, uh, g five. Get some space. Knight h six, and then you're kind of okay. Yeah. You you're taking some important stuff yourself. That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the computer is changing his mind now to <laughs> to <laughs> underscore to my accommodate genius. you and your opinions. My genius. Yes. Yeah. Behold, and, yeah. <laughs> genius. But this was no. But B four, yeah. But I guess black needs yeah, to do B, something because B, his queen side is white lost. Needs, white needs to do something here too. Yeah. B four is the very good move. Mm. It's the top computer suggestion. Very instructive stuff. Thank you.
A5? Oh. It says it said A5 at some point. That was just. Yeah, oh, this is also good for it. Yeah, no, it's uh, very interesting. But Lajoskar hasn't taken. No, he hasn't. Uh, the, the, there's a big <laughs> chance this never like, appears okay, so on the, the board. The second best move is knight e5, which also trades squids. He will never play knight e5. Queen f1. No, okay. But how about the typical Lajoskar move, queen uh, some, c4, somewhere else? Oh, c4. Yeah. c4 is Lajoskar's. Uh, Moss is winning now against me as he's on board one. Nice prep according to Christian Stubikholm. Yeah. Nine, so queen g3, okay, that's plus two. Or, or queen d2 or queen d4, so it's just very good. Okay, how about knight b4 then? Yeah. And you're not supposed to take it, of course, as mm. we concluded earlier. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> queen d1. And it's still very good for white. Right. It's... it's um, well, the computers, we've been cheating, guys. The computer is claiming a very, very big advantage for white it's here. It's very surprising how big that advantage is, because white is not threatening anything in this position. No. Um, but it's probably just rook d1, bishop a3. It's yeah. impossible to stop the... The slow squeeze. Bishop. It's just too bad, and if you go e5, you're giving up too much squares. Yeah. There's, there are no breaks, and there's no activity for black. So yeah. in the long run, this will uh, this will uh, yield the white... But it's uh, not like, advantage. even though he's... Winning, it's not doesn't mean it's gonna win the game. I mean, uh, I I don't think it's winning, but it's clearly better. I mean, winning is um, computer language. No, it's it's too early. Yes. I mean, knight g six. Uh, it's an f four. Of course, white is much better, but uh, it's not winning. I mean, I wouldn't be too pessimistic here with black, and uh, huh? well, maybe it looks very passive, but uh, I'm not sure. I I don't think Miesis is thinking that he's losing. At least I think he's. Uh, I don't know about happy, but yeah. and he did take. Yeah, and he's going. He's gonna play before because Lajoskar likes active plans, and then he has some active. Stuff. Check the check 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 the comment from. <laughs> that sucks. I, <laughs> what's that? A very nice joke in the chat. That's guys. huge. That's a very specific number. Very specific. Yeah. His own might be it might be his own <laughs> his own sucks size. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jonas uh, Bjerre had an interesting prep as well. And this happened and he's winning. Oh, he, took the, he just gave the exchange. Okay, okay so because BC, Bishop A6 is even why worse, would, I guess. Why would black take then? It's not it's complicated, but maybe he just underestimated E3, Knight C6. Because tra trading... Um, but he's international master. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to make excuses for him because no, I'm an international <laughs> master as well. So yeah, you would not. Uh, I'm just saying I could have done. But it's it. like the calculation is one move, yeah, I and know. then you lose the exchange. Yeah. Like, it's it's. I don't. But maybe he thought. And he he's been spending lots of time in the opening as well, Francesco. Uh, so okay, this is not his best day, I guess. Uh, it's a pawn, but it's not enough for an exchange against Ulnas. Um, well, okay. Um, this. Probably something I would play, but then you're just gonna lose. Like, yeah, you're just slowly gonna lose. Like I just rook rook d one bishop b five maybe bishop b five maybe this knight goes to d four. Yeah, you can start packing your stuff very slowly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, start packing slowly, <laughs> please. I mean, it looks like black's position could be resilient, but it's just a, an exchange, so it it's not gonna happen. Uh. He has more rating than you. Why are you disrespecting him? Um, I'm not we dis are disrespecting. Uh, I was disrespecting. As we please. I we will disrespect everybody. Yeah. No, I'm not disrespecting him. I'm disrespecting His one play. move. Yeah. One move. I, okay, that's a very <laughs> big difference. So, very nice save there from Grandmaster Jan Salman. No, that uh, well, okay, but like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. We are. Um, we are not licensed to say anything. Uh, what happened in the Edson as Linus? Linus blitzed out the pawn sack, didn't work, and then uh, thought for 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Johan concluded earlier that Black is just busted because Edson has found a, a, uh, well, a series of good moves in the opening. Um, it's easy to get nervous when your opponent is blitzing out moves in the opening. It looks like he has some pressure, but Edson has kept his cool and yeah. uh, is uh, almost winning. He played very good. Yeah. And he also found knight b5 here, which was the best move. Yeah. And now he's, uh, he's a pawn up. Uh, and uh, yeah, and bad pawns. I guess rook d8 is a move that says that, okay, I'm just worse. Because yeah. if he it's had something, it, would, it yeah. would be rook d8. Yeah. yeah, now it's white's move and stuff. Yeah, so, so I mean, what, what to do is it... Uh, okay, so black wants to play rook d4. 
Are you playing rook d1 or? But I would think about uh, just think about this. Takes takes knight takes a2. And then that looks then the very fork. Yeah, that fork. But and then knight c3. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> and then knight c3. <laughs> like fork that. city. Luckily, I have this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I would like to do that, but then, yeah, okay, probably. To take this square now, I'm threatening a to you, maybe. Yeah, I mean uh, Linus must be kicking himself. What you probably don't want is something like uh, like this with black, because now we're just a pawn down. Pawn down, c5 is weak. I'm not sure not what knight c2 even does though, but <laughs> it was just an exception. An exchange combination, yeah. Trading it can happen at some point. Yeah. Desperate times, desperate measures Ooh. for Linus. Yeah, now also it, for Lucas it seems. Yeah, now he B4 is very I'm instructive. Very much. I like it if it works. <laughs> yes. Small disclaimer from <laughs> A5. This would be my, but this is just trapped, so it doesn't. You cannot play A5. No. And then what can you do then? Yeah. Because and if you can take, then it's perfect. And you can take because Rook B1. Then yeah. this it looks like uh, very strong. A6, A4, just. Uh, like attacking back. And if you take now, then a5, right? Yeah, a5 immediately wins. So, and next you wanna just consolidate. So, let's say castles. Um, you have, probably, you, I'm not sure about if you wanna go there. Maybe you could d2. Yeah, to fairly chose not to rush it, I guess. That's, or you can, uh, or you can develop, like, bishop e2, maybe. Yeah. Maybe bishop e2. Looks like for this. Something uh, like this. Yeah. Looks and, like uh, this prediction is going to come through here. And I, if you give me like two more moves, I think white is close to winning. Yeah, I think so already. And I, mean, I also uh, said I think black has to play f6. Yeah, and, and now he's still. moving his pieces away from the f6 break. Yeah. Looks like for this uh, suggestion of so, uh, something. a squeeze is Rook going said, to... Rook said, do happen. Yeah, just don't blunder anything and then it will be bad. So, but castles, bishop b2. I think f6 needs to be played, takes, takes, and they play. No, no, you didn't lose yet. Yeah, but it's, this, it's not over. It looks but very it's... bad because b5, the e, e line will be weak. Yeah. Um, b5, bishop a5, rook e1. I mean, it's. Uh, so it looks very. Okay. You can try to pressure, but. I mean, this looks. Uh, yeah. Very uncomfortable for Black, uh, but uh, Lucas is a uh, well-known fighter. He uh, never surrenders, so yes. we'll see. Right. Oxel also tries to fight his way out of a pretty muddy position against uh, John Paul Wallace. I um, definitely prefer White here because of Black's bad bishop on b7. Yes. Would you play not bishop e4? It's a provocative move though. Yeah. Just you know. I don't think I would do it. <laughs> it doesn't do much there though, but please exchange this off, please. Yeah. Maybe this has a move. Hmm. Queen somewhere, g3, e2, probably. Queen e2, and then knight d5, maybe you can even Yeah. Because now you're playing the Catalan, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just reroute the bishop to yeah. g2 and then you have a castle. You can play bishop b4 and Yeah, you can put the bishop on g2. That's yeah. usually where it is. But here, I would probably not be that afraid of knight f4, though. No. Like something like this, probably already winning. Winning, yeah. Yeah, this is winning. Even the yeah, it's knight c4, maybe black can yet take or something. But yeah, but you know that's. Yeah, this is complete control. Um, Looks like uh, John Paul is going. Um, well, at least going to put some heavy pressure on Axel uh, pretty soon. Yeah, we can, I just, we can even go there. Yeah, just back. <laughs> no, it's... Yeah. Yeah, back, draw. <laughs> Would be pretty anti-climatic, but uh, mm. okay, we'll see. I guess moving the queen is uh, is logical. This uh, Jacob against uh, Lava. Still looks uh, like black is for preference here. I mean, white is passive. Yeah, I think black. I think uh, our bishop e4 was a step in the wrong direction. Yeah, I think also I think black played very excellently. Mm. Like d5 and then now oh, a4 because the pawn is going to be weak. So yeah. white realized to that you played a4. Liberate the rook. Yeah, free the rook. And if yeah, and if you take in queen a6, then uh, knight b5 
It's yeah. a very good square for the knight, so that's yeah, not yeah. something you want. Is Johannes Almond stronger than Lars? They are pretty even, I guess. But Johan is a grandmaster, Lars Oscar is not. Yeah, physically stronger, <laughs> Physi probably. Probably physical, probably physically, physically as well. That's yeah. probably what they're wondering. It's the most important, uh, yeah. I guess, but uh, bishop b4 and then she just yeah, took I also off like the that, knight. Because when you when you play against this um, hanging pawns, you want to trade often. Mm. And also this bishop, yeah, this looks very good. I think I would do that too. Just take there and then you leave white with a bad bishop. But this looks so very instructive. Like this. Yeah, and now there's no now knight d5. Now your queen is a6, knight d2, and then... Knight d5, no? Knight d5, something like that. You're just going to be a nightmare, probably. But a nightmare, yeah. Yes, every time. <laughs> <laughs> also, I know, but like, why does black doesn't need to take two? Uh, the live cam is that Ellen playing at the first table. Let me have a look. Uh, Jakob is in the way right now. I guess that's uh, no, that's Lara actually. That's Lara against Jacob on the uh, the table uh, closest to the this live game. Cam. This game. The game we're watching right now, yeah. Okay, so Lasho didn't find B4, Ivan. No, that, wow. uh, was that's disappointing. So King E2 immediately. King but now E5. A5, yeah? Uh, yeah, A5. Yeah, yeah. A5. Yeah, I think uh -huh. also the computer didn't want King E2. They want Castle at some point, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but the computer it changed its mind, so... Yes, A5. Hmm. Okay, okay, but but this is uh, this is uh, not what White wanted. But maybe no. you could go a four. You could go a four, but it's very difficult to attack it. Yeah. So it's gonna be like you, you play knight d two. Some uh, mm, long term plan of I'll advancing. But now there are some squares uh, that are pretty weak for White as well. Mm. No, we were not talking about the first board, it's the first table, uh, the, the table closest to the live cam, as you can see, the live feed from the the venue, that's uh, Lara against oh. Jacob, that's board number uh, board number seven, mm. C4 now, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Because of black wasted a bit of time, and um, mm. no. Hey, but uh, if you can choose your next move now, I mean, would you go knight C3 or would you play C5 or something? Not C3, right? Oh, um, yeah. I'm not sure about C5, actually. but A4, A5, A C4, F6 I'm not is so best. Because Black will kind of uh, be able to undermine that yeah. stuff. F6 is uh, Christian's uh, suggestion here. In this position. Yeah. A4, C4, X, F6 is Black's best move. And then you just want to... Knight D7 or... Yeah, Knight D7. F6, F6 instead, instead of, of yeah instead because I think this position is probably good for white now because now mm, activity right it, because F6 like, here uh, like oh. even if the, sorry just this like if I take even like uh, yeah knight C3 my white might be better here. long long castles <laughs> looks but looks risky yeah so I think A5 F6, this is very serious mm. yeah he's even said that it's unpleasant so yeah. Um, so f6 after king. But you know, for yeah, yeah, he, he said he said f. Yeah. A5. C4 f6 is the best move. Yeah, but he changed his mind. Yeah, f6 think. first. Yeah, that's because, first because that was I wanted to play like this with white and the other line. Yeah, because now, now, you, you, now get, you get the g5. You get first. some you get some kind of squares here, and it mm. seems that this is matters. Yeah. So um, you need to claim the king side if your queen side is lost, basically. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And if. And if f6, h4 is probably a bit slow and maybe weakening some stuff. h4, h5? Yeah, h4, h5, but at yeah. least I stopped g5. Yeah, yeah. But like, could you go b4 now? I mean, is, yeah, there, is yeah. there any point? Yeah, that was my thought. But the computer still didn't like this that much for some reason. I guess the king side pawn moves matter. I mean, uh, yeah. but I would still prefer white though. Yeah, maybe just didn't understand last time. Yeah. Looks because like the computer yeah, changed its mind. Yeah, I think so. Maybe it was still good to play b4 and king e2. Like the other way, but I, I would prefer to just play b4. Yeah, a5 here. Oh, then c4 is actually good. So maybe his point is that uh, he's gonna get b4 anyway. Yeah, and he wants so to there's just no rush. he wants to be a bit more developed before playing it. I agree with you, Christian. It looks like uh, white is for preference, at least yeah. from a practical F point F6, of view. H4. No, yeah, I think this is still good for 
Yeah. This, uh, I think uh, Los Oscar is yeah, quite comfortable here. He he's he's got uh, this this comfortable position against a lower rated player. He can uh, he's got lots of time. Nothing really going on. Would uh, probably suit his style pretty pretty well. Ludwig's um, a bit ahead on the clock, 15 minutes ahead, but he needs to spend his time wisely now. Lots of nuances to pick up. Francesco Solis is going down against Jonas uh, oh, Biara. We could just give this it's game a bit up. Early to say, but <laughs> he just blundered the uh, rook because we have slaughtered Francesco already. <laughs> so uh, he can pack up his stuff. Yeah. Slowly though. Yeah. Maybe he missed something though. Maybe knight e6. Maybe he missed this check or something. And uh, Christian know. points out that Rune isn't winning this game either against Isaac Sherberg, which no, is trouble for Lasho because not. no, because Rune needs ah, to fight his way up the ladder to to meet the uh, GM candidates. No, too bad. Too bad for Lasho Scar, even if Lasho Scar uh, wins today and he wins tomorrow, and you know makes a great result then um, there's no GM norm waiting for him in the in the pipeline because Rune is one of the three GMs he needs to face so he's a bit dependent on uh, on Rune's form the next couple of days we'll see how uh, Rune does uh, in this late middle game against Isaac Sjöberg uh, I predict a draw yeah you predict yeah, a draw Isaac like, he's Isaac pretty is, solid though. Yeah, but his, Isaac is very happy with the draw here. Yeah, I know, he likes, That's he, the thing. He likes to play draws. He's probably not even thinking about winning. But, well, maybe... I played against Isaac in the Norwegian League, and he played this Fortnite scotch against me, open, uh, open yeah. scotch, tried to force which is pretty, <laughs> pretty dry stuff. Yeah. I had to take lots of risk to get winning chances. but uh, You're never winning this with black. No, I mean how? Yeah. White can just play king f1, king g1, right? Yeah. Just, uh, you should have just started. Because no one wants to exchange rooks to improve the, pawn, uh, the uh, but he's position. He's maybe of considering to play d4. <sighs> but he wants to speed up the draw. <laughs> yeah, speed up the draw, right. <laughs> Not get an advantage, just you know, get home earlier. Yeah. Uh, right. I think he wants to play d4 to speed up. And also, it doesn't look like that's such a bad idea. Maybe like. Are they taking temperatures before each day? I'm not sure if they uh, are doing uh, that, but at least everyone needs to wear masks, and there are lots of precautions uh, here with, uh, you know, uh, personal hygiene and stuff. So I'm sure the players are um, quite comfortable um, playing here at, at our venue. Um, but I, I'm not sure if they're uh, taking temperatures and testing every day I'm not, I, I, I don't think they are well um, I can update you if you if you'd like h3 in this game against uh, ah we've returned to our game of the day it's Ellen okay well Bishop d6 Queen c7 yeah B g4 so wow. crazy stuff and f4 <laughs> and f4 okay. that looks like looks horrendous to me g5 yeah g5 that's like the scream sound you want to play g5 um, and then she castle then Ellen is going for some uh, <laughs> but like super sharp game but uh, now b b3 looks interesting Don't, with for white yeah, yeah maybe. but uh, it, it's the only thing white like can I, do. I felt that black was doing the right things but it doesn't look so easy for black but, to play what? but i thought you know you have to this looks like the wrong strategy for me i would play on the queen side so i would probably castle here with Castle that. here. Yeah. yeah. And then play b5. At least that's that's my instinct. But maybe g5 is too dangerous. Yeah, g5. This would you... I'm not sure if I would sacrifice the pawn, but... Uh, maybe you... I don't know. Rook g1. But it's also like trapping the knight. Like, yeah, just if I don't even... I'm not even going to try to take it, right? No, yeah, but you can just play rook g1 and then... Yeah, I think... Take in g6 and... Castles looks also dangerous. Yeah, okay. So maybe... Just, the right. Maybe just b5 then. Instead of moving your king, good structure for white according to Fulutka. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so too. It looks very difficult to to break down now. So you wanted for to. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, what was your plan? Uh, just, this black ju just b five. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. B five here because this the, like <laughs> this is not better for white. I mean, look at the pawn on e three. Yeah. Why would you exchange the pawn on g six? Yeah. Against this guy. 
there's no logic for me at least yeah. and that's that's basically all black achieves here just an exchange of pawns and this looks much comf more comfortable for whites just uh, you know lots more space and because now you cannot castle short because it's too dangerous yeah so you, uh, yeah so right right for b5 so how is this like let's say i go bishop g2 not like is it easy for uh, black? <laughs> for the suggestion involves uh, trying to jump a knight to h4. <laughs> Very concrete stuff uh, for that. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, takes some time. But it's definitely a good square though. Very, very uh, like because we agreed that black was. I mean, yeah, we we felt that okay, black is doing well, but uh, it's still it's still a complicated position. Lots of pieces left, so. She needs to find the right strategy, and uh, I, I felt she did, but g5 might be too too early. Hmm. Maybe white is, white is super genius. Maybe white is a super genius as well. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not king bait castle. I don't like castle. That uh, yeah. to to the queen side. Yeah, what I thought that was the thing. Really. Yeah, I would probably go the other direction better. Oh, you would castle like I this? I would probably do that and play b3, but uh, okay. I'm not yeah, sure. maybe that too. But uh, okay, uh, b3 just take on b3 and c4 is never an option because d4 is weak, I guess. So maybe this ah, is... Ah, yeah, you, you take it. But still it's... So maybe uh, this is okay, but, yeah, yeah. but still b5. Yeah. b5 now and... Yeah. So maybe... Okay, so... This was an important choice. Yeah, very, uh, very big, big decision. B3 is not really possible. No. So Mates. what are we doing now with white? Yeah, white, well, what, what is white's strategy here? I, I haven't figured that one out. G5 like... followed by F5 maybe? Yeah. But then knight H5, knight G3. I mean, you have you, like F5 is like, is even... Yeah. It's, illegal. it's legal. It's legal. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's that strong, but it's possible. You have to do something. Maybe you can. Yeah. So you Rook can e5. Five. Yeah, I know. If you take, then the bishop makes sense. Yeah. Starting to to liven up a bit. So I think this is good for white. Yeah, probably then g5. Just very good for white. Yeah, so the b4. I mean, it's it's, it's yeah. very sharp though. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, b4. What do you think for that about this position? I mean, long castles to me looks like uh, maybe actually black is attacking some maybe suicide black. attempt. But uh, knight takes c four after yes, before. knight takes c four. I was thinking before knight takes c four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's good fine. to have you with us for that. You're uh, I really quickly want to. It's very complicated. Now yeah. maybe g five is a threat or something. Okay, so it's it's basically a rat race. This b yeah, three and yeah, short castles looked great. Short castles. Yeah, and b3 looked... Yeah, but the king is safer on the short side. Mm -hmm. And also yeah. f5 is still possible. You can still play f5. D3. There's no chance uh, white is yeah, getting I think mated. Ma now it, look, it looks very... I don't like to have my king there. So. Reminds me of a game I had against Eivind Durus in the Norwegian Championship some years ago. I lost pretty badly after castling queenside because I wanted to liven the game up. And I sure did because I, uh, I lost immediately. Uh, okay, so yeah, yeah, okay, so so this plan is okay, so let's say black is just b3, a, b, b, and this is a very nice plan though. Yeah, Lars Oscar's. Yeah, Lars Oscar plan. Yeah, <laughs> that he did. That Trademarked fine. by Johan Salman. That he may be fine, but because castles, I was just thinking b5 maybe. Yeah, a for now, and b4 is not possible. Take on c4. Yeah. So this is pretty much so okay. Yeah. GG. <laughs> so why would you not go for short castles? Yes. I mean, long castles look like a um, short risky cast. decision. Yeah, it was a horrible move, according to the computer, not yeah. according to me. Not according not, to the computer uh, named Joachim Nielsen as well. Yes, also your computer. Yeah, yeah. yeah castles, and then okay, then the computer says equal, so it's not that. Uh, but no. uh, okay, okay, okay. That's fair. Maybe it was just a very good. Looks like Ellen is doing well, guys. So we'll uh, we'll pay close close attention after our opponent. Bishop to e four was good here. Okay. Or yeah. And bishop takes e five. So there was some op like. Uh, and then knight e four. Okay. Bishop and f four is dead though. Yeah. Right? yeah. And so then b five uh, a five. Yeah, because I just thought it was strange that white gets to find position after. The yeah. Mm. By playing so concretely, so uh, then okay. Makes sense. Yeah, doesn't feel right. Yeah, and you're so definitely onto something there with your intuition. 
So go Ellen, yeah, for sure. We'll we'll see how she uh, how she does in the middle game now. Isaac Schoberg is hunting the draw against the the draw. <laughs> He's speeding up. <laughs> speeding up the process against Rune, who will never, of course, accept the draw. And now Rune will probably squeeze this position for a <laughs> huge amount of time. I mean, you, you don't get the draw against Rune no, if you do like this. No. I mean, you have to be more concrete. You have to force the draw, <laughs> repetition or something, you know? Mm -hmm. This is a dream scenario for this Rune. This is nothing. No, this is nothing for Rune. He, now Rune will, uh, will get his second uh, uh, water bottle and third banana and really start to squeeze. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> Rune will have consumed five apples, three bananas, and uh, five bottles of wa of water after after this game. And he will probably uh, make some uh, some hard work here as well against these. Probably it goes a draw offer now. <laughs> I just just guessing. It's a great time to offer a draw because we're breaking the position. Yeah. F3 seems to like slight pressure. Okay, so maybe... But, but uh, Isaac is not interested in slight pressure for that. No, but that, because then... How is this no, position? But it, is this still something? I mean, you could also go D5, uh, this, right? I think this is nothing for... D5, Rook E4 or Rook E6? Yeah, it's like just... Uh, Rook, Rook E3 takes. first! <laughs> and then slight pressure? Oh, okay. Are you kidding for that? <laughs> D5? Slight pressure. Is this a uh, card spell structure? <laughs> After d5, yes. Yes, almost this is like. And then you can go for the minority. So like it can't before. <laughs> not possible for black. No. The card spell always loses. Yes, so because b5 comes, you have to create the weakness. Yeah. Or you have and to. And then let d5 him just take. falls. Yeah, yeah. d5 and then just falls. Yeah, yes. So, uh, so interesting. Pull the, st pull the steel. <laughs> Suggesting moves to mm -hmm. increase the pressure for Isaac Schirmberg. But you have to accept for that this uh, this end game after d5 e4 you won't ah, win yes, this. Still increase the pressure. You won't win this for that. Yes, and then pressure. But and now then. things are happening here. Uh, g5 h4 and uh, oh. you will get mated for that. Yeah. So things are happening. King h7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and there it's nothing. Probably a draw. Um, but uh, seriously, long castles on the tenth board uh, just shocked me completely. Yeah, I was. I have to admit, I thought about that, but now it looks bad. I wasn't so sure. No. Here it looks like black has achieved stuff. Like <laughs> for the uh, prediction is that Rune will play for win and lose somehow. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> Sounds like. I don't think so because Isaac is not looking for the win. A3. So. I absolutely. I hate that move. Yeah, why weaken your queen side? Just keep the pawns you there. Should play on and the nothing side. will happen. Should, should play on the side. You're better. Yeah, yeah, I That's agree. That's the rule. I agree. Um, Sara I asks if there's a quiz today. Um, have to get back to you, Sara. I have to get back to you. And just give us a couple of minutes, and I'm sure we'll rack up something. Uh, another quiz, maybe based on Johan. We'll see. How many times has Johan beaten me in classical chess? The answer is uh, lots of times. Really? At least uh, one or two? Yeah, I remember one. <laughs> I remember one quite painfully yeah, as well. <laughs> yes. I remember it was one. Pretty, I have also one draw yeah. uh, with black, which was also quite painful. Yeah? Yeah. Always painful stuff. <laughs> Always black. Always, Always yeah. painful. Johan beat me twice though. Okay. Norwegian Championship okay. as well. Yeah. Also painful. Also. <laughs> Ah, also <laughs> the, the the trick is to face me with white guys because okay. then I'm just you know I'm I'm playing like a sack of potatoes at least against Johan but with white I'm yeah. uh, I'm uh, at least not so bad. Yeah. Rook G one. Okay. Yeah, this looks like it looks so slow that it's not even funny. But <laughs> I think it's a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's even. But G four like what uh, I was. Just I mean, Rook G one. Hmm, what's his plan? <laughs> I mean. Hmm. What's going on here, guys? But why doesn't he play G4 if that's the plan? Is he afraid of some <laughs> spas? He, he doesn't need to prepare G4, he can just go. I mean, yeah. Rook G1 looks like over-preparing, right? Maybe, unless his plan yeah. is Knight D1. Yeah, 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 but maybe that's... But why... It looks extremely sophisticated. You take it's... on B4 and then Knight D1, but it looks so, you know... I think he wants to pressure. <laughs> yeah, yes, of course, yes. Like in the nine dwarf, yes, with also the a six pawn is weaker, so that's yeah. probably not he's, something that can do. Yeah, he's going for the squeeze in the end game with the yes. a six pawn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Matthias yeah, Lindelof likes to prepare. On, like on a serious note, why not? What like what's White's next step? 
What? I don't know. What does Wyatt I mean, do take again? on G7, uh, reroute the knight to G3, and then go yeah, to G5. Yeah, but takes, like, forever. But, yeah, okay. Yeah. That was... Uh, Fooled, of course, with the plan in the chat. It's uh, so long, I won't even read it. Bishop F1, knight E1, knight E1, king... Ah, all, all the pieces on the uh, on the first... Uh, all right. Like this, they go G4, and A5. Now, like... This inclusion is so good for black. Yeah, it's like a hook black. Can, yeah, so uh, now you have to do something. If the problem was on a6 and on a2, you don't have to do anything. No. But now you have to take and then the a file and like knight g3, it looks very, very it slow. Looks, looks risky and now c6, right? Yeah, and everything. So, um, but that's why rook g1. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, so we have been enlightened by the genius of Matthias Wunderland with rook g1. Uh, C6. C6. Okay, so he uh, right. was possible to play A5, but maybe the. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know. I, it's very hard to. B4 C6. Brazil. Probably. Yeah, yeah but uh, I don't know. C6 at least white gets something to play. And then yeah, H... ah, now... rook G1 with the D of H4. <laughs> <laughs> but now the the rook is better on D1, right? Because of the D6 pawn, or you have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> now bishop d7, which rules out g4, and then rook d1. And we have some sort of triangulation going on, right? This? Yeah. What? <laughs> of course not, but it would be, yeah. would be yeah. uh, at least some H4? humor to the... Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very strange game. But we'll see. A, maybe like h4 here, it's too much The bishop square. d4 maybe? And I'm not sure. No, h4 just uh, take on h6 and knight g4 and... Yeah. So far, rook g1 is the move of the day, guys. d4, six, six. and then h5. Okay, but it's not like it's not like black automatically when you get something. Maybe mm. this is a success. Define success. I'm uh, not sure what what I'm looking at here actually. I mean, uh, both players are attacking, but I don't like any of their positions. No, I don't like. It's a complete agree. What hmm. is going on there? Queen a5, is that... Queen a5, knight a2? <laughs> Three yes. queens? Yeah. No, knight a2, then h6 is something going on. <laughs> Your a6 pawn a again. H6. Yeah, but, but then uh, the h5 pawn. Like, if you go here, I can take. Yeah. But then do I have... This is too much. Th this is losing, right? Queen takes b2. And yeah. And pick up the pawn. I pick up the pawn. Yeah, what's the definition of success anyway? Well, well, we'll, we'll come back to that, guys. It's too fast. Okay, so actually that doesn't work because of queen a5. Maybe. No, queen a5. So, but this, then that that cannot work, can that? Take on h6 first. Just take it. Wins, right? Bishop takes h6 first. Yeah, or you just... Yeah, both. I mean, everything <laughs> is just... It doesn't work at all. No. That's the point. Looks like your white is... Um, uh, and if, if this doesn't... And then this doesn't work. So maybe... Queen a5 played as well. And it's played. Yeah. Looks like huge troubles now for uh, Matthias Underland. Maybe the point is comes... B3? B3. Yeah, it looks terrible, but at least, you know, it's... you could play King B2. Uh, and then the Rook A1 and go for your A6 pawn. <laughs> yeah. Queen A3 and then you have to scramble with your King. King D1. Looks... And then d5 oh, looks terrible, but... Yeah, d... yeah. yeah okay. Uh, it looks like a bit of... Um... Yeah, it looks like a mess for white, but uh, Matthias Unland, I'm sure, will fight. Connor looks like he's well on the way to something. I think he should have played takes, takes, h5. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more logical to take on just d7 take first, yeah, right? Yeah. Just to avoid everything. Yeah. Queen a5, knight a2. Very happy, maybe. Very happy, maybe. Thank you. Ah, e4 is hanging, though, so... Maybe yeah. not so happy, but um, you can flick in h6. Ooh, the, uh, the rook is trapped. This is the point, <laughs> of course. Okay, now everything makes everything sense. Everything works <laughs> ah, Matthias, <laughs> again. The genius <laughs> of Matthias <laughs> and before rook, I didn't consider that, but that's something, yeah. Another uh, variation that's for something, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't mind with the specific guys, but you know, we, we are. Ooh. Ooh, no. Johan is looking, uh, yeah, looking okay, for just ways looking to... <laughs> at hallucination. 
Okay, well, uh, how the, about... Is this, is this so bad? Yeah, it's just completely lost. It's pretty close to lost for right, it looks see. like it. It was uh, already bad here. Let's check the evaluation before rook g1. So this is already good for black. Okay, yeah, um, okay. let's see. But uh, then I guess this, the system with d5 is... Rook g1 is the best move. No, it was it was just lost the tempo. Yeah. Temp, yeah. And it's already very bad. But but I, I guess the d5 variation for white here is just, you know, uh, not, not no, good. not good. But you should take on e5. And right? here, I think that, I think this is even more unforgiving than c6, because you're just, you're just going, c6 is coming. Yeah. Like, don't worry. But then mm -hmm. your position will be even worse. Um, yeah, you're basically, you're forcing white to make a move, right? Yeah, just, yeah. It, yeah. But c6 is also perfect, but, but I think I would play that. C5 as also. Mm. I mean, lots of options for black here. White is just oh, so uncoordinated. So okay, so now <laughs> the, draw has, <laughs> the draw has been. There will be no draw <laughs> here, guys. I can assure you, we will uh, be watching this game for many, many hours. Runa will uh, flick oh. out a couple more moves at least. He won't accept Mad the draw. Move. I, think I mean, king f7, queen e6, it doesn't look so bad. No. Okay, but that's very that's scary. That's scary. Yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty scary. I mean, the, the like if the king had game that. Okay, so b three here maybe or. Yeah, let's say he goes this and it he just takes it. That's yeah, lost. That's lost. So. So he's in oh, trouble. Huh? I mean, yeah. I think that the the black king is so bad that like it will never be safe. Yeah, just go queen f five. Queen or, or just go active. Queen e four maybe. Yeah. And then there's but, the, but, the king yeah, the, the board. thing is that it will continue. The, the I mean, Rune will win this yeah. game, guys. Okay, we will at least play. We've been joking about it, but it looks actually a bit uncomfortable. Maybe Fe is safer. Yeah, then Rune will play h4. Uh, yeah. And Positionally, black is for choice here. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's nothing, but. Uh, we are both members of Offerspiel Chess Club. Uh, not all the participants are, but most uh, are. Yeah. Well, the definition of success. Has, doesn't that exist? Uh, if, um, sure, uh, I'm not sure. Go Runa uh, from Sara Maria. Yeah, Runa, one of the greatest fighting uh, chess players we have in our country. Sadly, never won the Norwegian Championship. He's been pretty close a couple of times. It's very sad. Uh, Lara still pushing Since against Jacob. Took in rook d8. A5, desperately trying to remove everything. Yeah. Queen 7 takes takes. I would have liked to have my queen on a6 here, but okay. Yeah, I would like to have the a pawns to, to have some more pawns. But, um, or at least get in b5 with black, you know, to, to get the d5 square. But this looks still good, but uh, I guess white can, can fight here. Knight, knight d2, is that the move? Rook a4, b5, right? Knight, yeah, rook a4. b5 is the point here, I guess. But this can also be the point here. And then c5. Let's just take it. Ah, we can just take but it. But maybe you can still kind of take be prey. Yeah. Pray this for looks something. Like some kind of tactic. Um, C5, but like. Bishop A5. <laughs> Bishop A5. Yeah, from Fulda. Excellent. Excellent. Another uh, yeah. sharp tactical point made by Fulda. Um, some play at the booths and some play at the tables in, uh, I guess, the more more open landscape. I would uh, prefer to be sat in the in the booths. Um, played a couple of games there at the Offerspiel Limitational in June. Really enjoyed it. Some sofa uh, like uh, seating there, which is pretty comfortable. So the top boards are are, are sat there, and the rest uh, in. Um, I guess ordinary tables at ordinary tables, uh, but we're we're still confident Lara will will push here and yes, but like if you give White a couple of moves, Black has uh, nothing. Yeah, just the pawn on b six is not that good, and you know yeah. why is Black better? Mm. I'm not sure Black is even better. Ninety five is winning. Ah, tactical. So there point. is just a tactical point here. That's okay. So ninety two doesn't work. That's huge. The very deep tactical shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm surprised Fool didn't mention it. But he... it's not that uh, because you have to sacrifice the queen. Yeah, two moves. What? Is, yes. And then take on c3. Yeah. Take on c3. Um, so that's so maybe that's some important detail. So what to do here then? No, we get 4b5. 
du vågar ju om jag mer sprit. Eh, 60% eller 40%? Ja, kanske. Det var det. Funkar det? 85%. Ja. Okej. Okej. Just handing out some uh, some booze to the arbiter, yeah. yeah. Eighty-five percent. <laughs> Completely drunk. The arbiter yeah. just came in. Do you have some more booze? Yeah. Yes, right. All cool. Yeah. He's actually drinking. The, that's the problem in this. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any hand sanitizers because no, he's we're drinking. just saving the, the player's alcohol basically. He's drinking, yeah. Yeah, so, so he's drinking it. So the anti back yeah. consume. The uh, the store was was out of, uh, <laughs> of the usual stuff, so we just bought some vodka. Probably yeah. probably good enough. Uh, how bad is this uh, right now? I mean, is, is there anything white can do to yeah. save the C4 pawn? But th- to me, this what? looks uh, almost lost. A rook A4 B5. Is that does that work? Uh, yes. You could play Bishop A5. <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> it looks so dumb. <laughs> and it looks extremely <laughs> cheap, but uh, if it works, it, lo- it looks like you. you <laughs> like this is. Yeah, rook a four is you know very harmonious stuff, but you know rook a four and then rook b one, then it's not so bad. So, um. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, you want to t- now you want to take it or yeah. what? What happened there? Yeah, you want you moved it and then you want to take. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm completely out of the tactics in chess. No, you take queen, queen a7, uh, take on b5, right? There's no problem. Queen and knight c5. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Uh, is there anything here? Queen a3 ah. or something? Ah, but the, the lady is take, take on d8. It's defended uh, suddenly. Yeah, rook a1. This continues, rook a8. <laughs> this is forced. Six, Everything six, is forced. Yeah. Uh, this is. d5 suggested by. Um, by Froda, but it looks desperate. It's a good game by Lara, according to Christian. It looks like a very well prepared opening. Queen in seven, we agree. That's just good. What if I take here? Takes bishop takes and, and bc, right? BC? Just one. Yeah. Okay, so that's some, maybe a big yeah, detail. Detail. Yeah. Yeah. So. But this looks like, it looks like a very instructive game. Because by Lara. If, if White is losing the pawn, then like GG. Yeah. Okay, d5 is possible. Try to just uh, be a pawn down, but you don't wanna. <laughs> That's all this fighting intent. Just be pawn down and uh, fight on. Yeah. Okay, I'll just check it. Yeah, it's bad. Very good by black. It is very bad. Yeah. Very, okay. It's very. It's bad. Uh, GG. Yeah, like fair. this knight. If not knight e5, is equal. But okay, but uh, she she won't miss that. And I no, 95, no, no. 95 95 is played. Knight d2. Played, like yeah, no queen e2, queen oh, e2. It's played, it's played. Okay. yeah, and then take on c4, yeah, and then it's over. Oh, that's all you're left with the bishop as well. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's okay. Oh, uh, uh, so quickly. Jacob won't be able to, to sleep after this game, he's, he's down to 22 minutes. Lama yeah, is one hour, doesn't matter. No, it doesn't really matter. So bad. I would probably not trade that one, but. How about the game of the day? L Nilsson against Gustav. I'm just curious what she played. Rook d7, okay, right? Yes. So maybe b5 and rook b7 is the idea? Or something. Yeah, I guess. But uh, f5? I guess you won't. You, you, you're not especially keen to play e5 here. Um, no. None. Maybe okay, I, maybe okay. You, very can I can I take on c four? Is that possible? Or? No, I can't take on c four. No, forget it. Rook is uh, protected. Yeah. See, e five is serious. Uh, okay, serious. but I guess I guess you take it though, right? You take it and then, but then the queen. This is ah, you ah, it's a check, right? Yeah. Because I wanted to play king, queen g three or something. Uh, this is horrible. Probably. Actually horrible. Yeah. You cannot go like these. Where are you going? Like the e, like e three looks terrible F1 as well. Looks horrible. Like oh. check queen b six and uh, it's uh, weird. It's actually just you no know, bite pieces are very bad. Yeah. Okay, so f5 is out of the question. What to do then? 
I mean, what, what's what's the plan with uh, long castles? I mean, we should uh, we should see it right now, but there's nothing. So uh, okay, we can uh, prepare. We can, uh, this. Yeah, rookie five just to be provocative, yeah, right? With rookie Take five, it. Put it there. Never. And never remove it. Remove it. And then excellent. H4, H5, G5, H6, uh, run forest, run according to Fulda. Run? Yeah. Okay, okay. Fair. Fair uh, play there from Fulda. And play. then B5, H5, H5 B, B4, still you not know, possible. You know about this. Okay, we, we, you could do it, but it's not good. Not good, it's possible. F4 is hanging, but it's not good. Uh, this is a very good. See, that must be. Uh, very nice attempt. Probably the only p yeah, real but, plan from but, White. But it's, it's also a serious plan. Yeah, but, but it's a bit slow. Um, what, what is going on there? Maybe um, rook c eight, rook c seven. Rook d seven is a bit slow. Yeah. Okay. H four. It looks slow. But you know, black is also slow. So. H four looks slow, but it's very good. Very nice plan from uh, Fuda. Is g six uh, possible? I was here? thinking about it, and then I thought I was thinking about um, maybe I can I can do this or something. Yeah. But I can also just take it because, like, yeah, um, and then f5 and just open up, right? Yeah, like now I have some kind of asset, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was also some if you want to be fancy, you can go there and just try to, yeah, probably then, it's not, but then nothing, speci then. nothing special. Ah, you play f5, yeah, yeah. you play f5, black, yeah, queen g4, and uh, this is not working, yeah, unless you have queen g4, yeah, so you look. So GC. Okay, but there's uh, still lot, uh, lots of play left here, but uh, some difficult moves uh, ahead now from um, for white uh, and passant after f5, yeah. And then I I retake with my knights, so but then maybe you hey, won't play. I think that was the wrong plan. Ugh. what's the point then? I mean, I guess f5 is the point, but mm. st still e5, right? Ooh. This is uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. So b5? Why not? But no, it's not really threatening that much. No, uh, nothing yet. But what's, what's white, white supposed white to white do? White rook e5? <laughs> still doesn't accomplish okay. shit. But <laughs> Rook g5, you can play rook g5, but it's it's still... Yeah, yeah h4 was more uh, to the point. More to the point, yeah, absolutely. You could play g5 now and f5. Yeah. But still e5 and, uh, you know, it's it's troubles. Oh, you have time for that. Maybe it's not... I mean, where is the, are the tactics here? Mm. I want to move my knight with white, but where? <laughs> <laughs> Looks fishy, but... Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Rook c8 or ah, something. It's probably... Yeah, I was like hoping to get something like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a joke. Ah, I don't know. I think it's that bad. Knight e7 ah, play it doesn't work, but uh, it was just a, something. Rookie e1, knight e7, not b5. Okay, knight e7. Right, but uh, okay. So that was the for plan but to defend b7 to play knight e7. Okay, uh, but I that see. doesn't look very promising to me because you. Hmm. What's wait? But now, if if b five b four, then knight c four is even stronger, I guess, because there's you know the check on a a eight. So. B five is never gonna be played. No, it doesn't look like it. Knight h four plan from Fodor. <laughs> lol. It's probably going to g six. Knight h four plan lol. Yeah. Okay, but then I guess rook e one looks stupid because you have to play rook f one pretty soon. What's the problem with uh, just f five? Yeah, take it. Rook h five, I guess. Oh, g5. No. Oh, uh, no, that was <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't your point. No, I didn't try it. Rook h5, rook e5. Is that... Yes. Is there any point to it? Isn't mm. like losing the thread there? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Looks like it. Hmm. Yeah, if you cannot do anything more, then black is worse. And yeah. Maybe black is just... No. Not Knight c6, rook d1. No problem. Result, no problem. Okay, white has a worse structure and stuff, but... Okay, but at least white has something going on, right? You can yeah. double rooks and stuff. No, I, no. I, okay, so then if f5 you just take it, then in general the position likes black. 
just because of uh, yeah. some... But black doesn't have to rush it here. I mean, uh, the structure is so good, and as long as you keep the bishop on g2 quiet, then you're going to do well with, with black. So Exciting stuff from uh, from Adeline. We'll see if he, she manages to um, navigate this pretty uh, difficult uh, position. Uh, quite strategic stuff. Is Rune Dulus the oldest and Axel uh, Bulkval are the youngest players in the tournament? Mm. I don't know if Rune is older than Mises. Uh, I don't think so. But at least one of the GMs is, I guess, the, the oldest player. They're not old, though. But uh, we have a very young and, and capable field here. Axel is, of course, by far the youngest. Queen e6, uh, as... Uh, Queen e6, looking for... As he, he probably wants him to play a3. Can you take on c6? Oh, yeah, you can. Ah, oh, you take on d4 and then you everything's Green covered. Not allow a draw like this. No, no, not never, against. Never. Queen d7. Queen d7. King h6, King h6. And it will run, right? Yeah, yeah and you don't want to do that. That's no, so not against Rune good. because he will never. Mm, uh, yeah, <laughs> never. Also, never. cost of entry. Um, couple of hundred, Honor. hundred kroners, I think. Mm, yes. Not too bad, and with a pretty big uh, prize fund as well. It's a couple of beers. Uh, yeah, couple of beers, <laughs> one and a half beers at uh, <laughs> at Aka Brygge. Completely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> or a half baguette at Gardermoen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Queen e6. Okay, Rune is definitely oh, B3 going for it. B3. Definitely being played. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? He has uh, absolutely no plan. <laughs> no, no, but he's going for it. King of no no no. King he's gonna like he's gonna do something like this. Yeah. So can, Rune is gonna play lots of moves here. Yeah. He's gonna do this and then he's gonna. I guess queen, queen king of seven. Why not? And if after the game, he's what? Now I can take. Now check. Maybe I can. Maybe, maybe no, you probably can. not. Maybe uh, I don't probably know. not. The king will run to h. Probably I cannot. Maybe because the queen is like defending everything. Yeah, it's perfectly placed. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. E four. Oh. But this is too ambitious. Try, try this to is this. way too ambitious. <laughs> Why? Maybe. King e7? King e7? <laughs> Why? Because of king e7? There, there's no plan, but uh, okay. you're showing too much ambition here. Yeah. Um, I don't want to play d5, but um, I might be forced to. Yeah, too many plans for black. You're not threatening anything, though. King d7. I will run. You're not threatening anything? What? This is not the threat? No, I will take on e4. Yeah, then they will make it double edged. <laughs> yeah, but that's perfect for me. <laughs> that's what we're going for. And then they will lose. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, he will lose somehow. But as this is Fulda's suggestion. Fulda will go for it. And, and D5 is too ambitious. Too, too ambitious, yes. Way too ambitious. I will take it. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Excuse it's, me. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Very forgiving. B3, but maybe D5 is being played by Rune. Queen D5, yeah. yeah maybe. Rune, <laughs> got to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, possibly. TK for your uh, Queen D5 is probably losing though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. King yeah. F two played actually. King F two, but that. King F two. What? Are you check on B two? Or what's and then Queen B eight maybe or Queen B, f Queen A three. Are, are you kidding? Please. Are you kidding me? Yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? Me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Or he, 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 no way he's calculating. No, 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 no. This is not the plan. He's, he's I not, mean, no, no, no. He's no. not forcing it all like that. What do you think? Uh, for the King F2? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Double question mark from I, we, we said it. No draw. <laughs> no, no, no. And after the game, if he says that King F2 was a mistake, he's being, no, no, it's already difficult. No, it's not. It, it's already it's very like difficult. It's, yeah, like the White Queen. The Rune will probably jump at the pawn on A2. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he must have play. forgotten about this though, right? Too focused on the e3 pawn, but this is just pretty unforgivable. Yeah, you've played a sensible game like and you're going for a draw, and then the and then this. this like it's better to pass. Yeah, yeah. In this in this case, it would, <laughs> King h1 would have been a much <laughs> is, better move. Yeah, this is e easily drawing. Yeah, uh, check the evaluation after King f2. <laughs> still a draw. Though. Okay, so it's still a draw. But uh, but it, it's not necessary to play King f2. I mean, uh, from a practical point of view, it looks uh, <laughs> risky. I mean, what's the best move? B3, right? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, okay, B3 something. Is the... King F2 is the computer's the second choice. <laughs> extremely... Uh... Yeah, it's extremely lucky if he, does, if he gets away with this. And yeah. it's very strange if but he... Take has... it, queen takes, king F3. If he has calculated this, then that's... What's, I mean, what's, what's the point? I mean, yeah. Probably just some perpetual, like... Like this? Queen D8? 
Aha, and then take on a7, right. But, uh, okay, king g5, Buri never lose. Yeah. Yeah, king f5, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> but Rune, is, he's not, he's gonna calculate, he's, he's the kind of guy to play queen Yeah, he might not take it even. Yeah. Nah, it's not surprising that it's a draw, it's just surprising to allow... Yeah, why, why even calculate this why, when it got beat yeah, according so, to Fulda? It was so easy, and also here he has an A-pawn. Yeah. Okay. But at least he's lured away the queen from the from the king, so there, there's some point to it. But it looks unnecessary to go why for even calculating... Why calculate when it got yeah. beat? I'm just like trying to play unnecessary moves. Why go for forcing lines in yeah, such yeah. an endgame? Yeah. It's not I even agree. forcing anything, because... King of no. is not threatening anything. Just giving him, uh, giving Rune Three an chance. extra option, yeah. Mm. How about Fulda against Linus? Is Linus out of the woods or is he um, screwed on board 4? Uh, he's, he's, he's still screwed. screwed. He's screwed, yeah. He's screwed, yeah. Looks like he's even more screwed. <laughs> like knight c4 bitch. maybe? Or, yeah. He's like trying to get the knight back to a6, is that the... That's the master the plan. Master plan. <laughs> and yeah, the bishop is on c8. So bad. Man. This is so bad. Looks ugly. This well, how is about a3? It's like plus 3. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Wouldn't. I mean, it's just so bad. Hmm. B3 is slightly weak now, though, but uh, doesn't look yeah, like much. That's not the factor, but. No. Queen e3, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. So it's. But it's actually trying to. Yeah. <laughs> trying to do it. Knight c4 looks quite. It's just. Yeah, safe. He can do that. Hmm. It's, it's still just a fall. But Linus will, will of course fight here. I mean, uh, but it's, it's, it's plus 2, a3, in knight a6. Knight c4, a3, f5. f5, okay, is that the plan? No, he will play this. Yeah, he takes next knight c6, that's a square. Yeah, right. Check. Back, check, knight d5. And then take. Ah, just taking queen c4. Yeah, and then now it's... Uh, this is just, uh, just... Even with an extra pawn for black, this would be bad, so... Yeah. And he's a pawn down as well. What does, yeah. Okay, we'll just see. It's lost and it should be pretty easy for a player like Full Delsness. Yes. This also looks ugly, but uh, he's exactly. still alive. He's Bishop on h6. Got something on the king side. Yeah. Still mm. ugly, but somehow, the, okay, the bishop on h6 is useful. Very annoying. Very annoying, that one. So, probably good. But I think, I like how Black has played this. Mm. It looked very bad. Earlier, Rook but a3, yeah, okay. h5, and um, maybe it was never... Doesn't look like white has made much progress yeah, with rook a3 and probably stuff. Probably white is still much, much better. But yeah, one would think so. Like if you play... B5, b5 and then push it to b6. Yeah. But white, only white's pieces are a bit awkward, just... Christian points out a very nice maneuver from uh, in the Underland O'Donnell game. If you could switch to that, board eight, uh, queen c3, queen f6, and then knight d5, ed bishop e5 is very strong. Take on f6, knight d5, ed bishop e5, and it's uh, curtains. Yes, excellent checking of the computer. Uh, very very good, Christian. And h6, rook b1 is and queen d3. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was knight uh, bishop d3. I mean. I guess. Now queen c2, I mean, is the point. Queen c2, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. the black is first to win the race. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent checking of the computer. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like uh, Hans Olaf Larsson. Uh, yeah, that's even better. Though. Yeah. But no, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he played rook e5. Yeah, and he was forced back. And he wasn't forced back. But he. Oh no! He, no, but he. Uh, but now, now he, he, But what about the pawn on a two? <laughs> what uh, is what, what what what's happening in this game? I'm I'm not sure. I'm I, I'm. F five. I'm not sure anymore. F five. Yeah. I'm not. Then I'm you not, have to. I, I just said knight a four runs just, into a check, so you have to take it. Can just take. I just said the move. Uh, what's what's the point? Queen takes. No point. The queen takes is the point. I guess. Yes. Right. And then you threaten g5. Yeah, this is, yeah. Queen a4 then? Yeah. Or is there queen, g, queen takes g7? Okay. You can play like anything. With In what game? Uh, I can also check. And check and, and triangulate a bit. Be a bit annoying here. Yeah, and then you win like the tempo, right? Yeah, just take the pawn. Or you have knight h4 first if you want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you could add the queen g3 f5, check, and then take on g2, right? Oh. Or even take on e6, and then rook takes e6, and then queen checks, 
PNG. What's the zero line? Ninety-two, five. And if you move the king, you could take on e six, right? Maybe. Yes. Uh, no, well, just take on e one. It's it lost. Ah, I see. Yeah. G F queen G three and uh, queen G seven. Okay, okay. So F five queen takes A two. Now and F five takes pawn takes and then the queen G three queen G seven. Oh, exactly. yeah. ah okay. Very nice, but uh, lots of tactics uh, here. Um, but at least uh, black's only attacking with one piece, so white is not you know in danger of it's getting mated. mated. Okay, so uh, something happened. Rune went for it, trying to mate him now. Queen b1. Okay, queen d6, what's happening? Queen d6 can be played. Yeah, queen f1, uh, queen g king g3. Ah, so he's going for this. And then what? What's going on? He could maybe his plan. It's like typical runa to just excellent be excellent. Ah, right. That's actually very annoying. Though. But uh, but is it though? D five. Um, D five is much more dangerous. Queen C six, <laughs> and you're losing. You have to be careful. Yeah. Perpetual okay. Uh, check by Ellen. Perpetual. Maybe, maybe ah, it's just... will, will she get a perpetual though? King C two, King B one. Yeah. So there's no perpetual yet, but. Uh, does she want that? Yeah, does she want that? I'm not sure. How is Ludwig Carlsson's game against Lars Oskar on board uh, board two? We haven't checked that in a while. Oh wow! He okay, went so he went before knight f six. No f six here. Before knight f six, a three. Isn't that a bit slow? A bit passive, but uh, what? Maybe it was you, necessary. You won't play. I mean, you, unless the plan is c four, then a three looks unnecessary, right? Yeah. But yeah, so um, okay, but well, maybe King D three is more logical here. Yeah, maybe he was afraid of it. I don't. Know. I cannot explain that move. Rook C eight, E five, so forcing some exchanges yeah, and also accepting a worse position. Yeah, the terrible pawn structure. Um, yeah, so is F three necessary now, or or even now, Knight D four. Or no, no rating points for a draw, no? Maybe 94 there. It... Hmm. 94, right. Well, pretty sharp stuff suddenly with the king in the center. Both kings in the center. Um, I think, I mean, this... F3, F3 yeah. if, you have, if you have time, okay, mm -hmm. why not? Just, uh, just try to limit uh, the potential of the black knight. Yeah. I don't know if you get this and you don't really care that you... Wasted some time, like if, no. you get, if you get this stuff. Hmm. Should we? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so board one, lots of stuff been happening there as well. Uh, oh. Mies is going with h five. Bishop d seven looks very ugly. This looks completely c five. Wow. But I'm sure this will be losing at, at in some way. So I mean, with a rack, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not that. But you know, uh, Mas is down to 30 minutes, so I'm not sure uh, if he's that confident. Lars was going to win this. He's an expert in rook game games. He's an expert in general, I think. So he's he's probably quite satisfied with his position, and he'll um, probably be a favorite to win that. I agree. So h3 is... Uh... And then h4, right? And then a sad retreat. Knight f6. Or e5 even. I always have e5. Yeah. Take on d7, but you know, probably not so... Not so... Uh, uh, this desirable. Like e5 Extremely nine. passive. Are you playing this or what? Well, I guess I have to. There's yeah, no yeah, score. Always, yeah. yeah. Uh, this... Uh... Takes I mean, you have takes to be queen c8. Yeah, it's not yeah. over. And then some squares. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mies is kind of stuff. This. Yeah. Mm. It's. Okay, well, Moss is not... thinking. We'll see. They played f3. He played f3. Excellent yeah. player. King d3. d3 you always play c4. Yeah, and just with a very nice blockade. Just winning. Yeah, this is just following the. Following our prediction of yeah. uh, bag packing for yeah, Francesco. It's, it's better to try to do something a bit 
more risky than to just give away the exchange. Yeah, this was uh, not very inspired. Like at least in this position, because it's nothing that tells me that white should be winning. <laughs> no, not yeah. by force anyway. No, like I don't even know what white is threatening. So this is um, very very slim draw chances. You know. Yeah, he needs to buckle up and fight. Uh, Essen has played the knight c4, which looks uh, perfectly okay as well. Yeah, just hold up there. Yeah, two Yeah, played b5. b5. That was my. Yeah, I also thought that was an like, interesting idea. Mm. Just a5, b5, and then like some the yeah. bishop will be a bit more useful. Just try to steer the game away from the bishop on h6. And now it looks like white has regained some kind of mm. control. Rook b1. Rook b1 is and probably maybe just lost there. Actually, because um, rook b8 now, just yeah, just see how it goes. Like, just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just maneuver. I mean, just wait. rook a4, bishop e1, knight d2, I guess. I mean, yeah, like something like b6 this. b6 is possible when the knight can go some. When the knight gets active, maybe it's over. Maybe, yeah. g, maybe g4 is a move just to stop knight f5. Yeah, it's yeah. like white is in complete control if he wants to. g4 is not true, it's a bit dangerous. I'm not sure it's good. No, it looks it looks nice though. Just g g four and uh, potentially uh, just uh, king g two. Yeah, you can play on both sides, and yeah. black is completely tied down to that pawn. And mm. I would guess like plus two or something. Yeah, it's only plus one and a half, but maybe a bit on deeper computer. Maybe it's close like, enough though. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, g I, I love I love g three. That's a very uh, mm. nice. Just king g two first. Yeah, doesn't burn any bridges. Yeah, improve your position. The the black the computer recommends queen d eight rook a seven. It's just uh, <laughs> very inspired. Like stuff. let me see if I can kind of beat the computer a bit here. Before. I mean white's white's advantage and initiative is like a slow burning cigar, yeah, right? It just the, the, the won't go out. The um, the advantage just increases. Ninety one at yeah. some point, yeah. Okay, so Tofelik is probably uh, confident in uh, in that game. Well, how about John Paul against Axel? I uh, haven't checked that in a while. Board six it looked very good for white early on. Um, still very useful. Still it's just very nice. Yeah. It was like like on move. On this move, we yeah. already like predicted this. Yeah, yeah. And basically. nothing has changed. Like but this this stuff always happens yes. if white gets in C five in those like structures. A, like a snow plan. No, never F six. No. <laughs> um, just pretty to, depressing. Yeah. Mm. He at least he stopped knight D six by playing B five, but. Maybe rook a1. So white has to convert. Yeah, rook a1. I mean, if you can exchange a couple of rooks, that's fine. Yeah. And then the bishop for the knight, and then you win. That's, uh, in, yeah, that's in some way. Yeah. Is Axel the most talented uh, player in Norway? Well, uh, at, at his age, I'm sure he is. Uh, I'm not sure if. If you have anything to add, but he's at least very talented. But we have lots of talented young players. Yeah, probably is the best rated mm. by his age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This looks like a clean win from I would, uh, Laura. I would be very re reluctant to take that one. Yes. Uh, I don't think I would. I just. King I, I, somewhere. I, I think I would just do something King stupid. I would rather do this than take that. Yeah, because that knight is so beautiful. Yeah, then I would resign the white here. <laughs> yeah, I think King H8 is better. Resign and go to the shops to find some comfort foods. That's at least my uh, my go-to uh, ritual after losing painful games. But okay, I guess she found some. Yeah, she was probably quite confident by this. With this, this looks very good. Though. Looks very good. Yeah, too. and the b pawn runs. Okay, queen c three played. Queen f six. Bishop b five immediately. Not knight d five. Okay, so. Connor didn't find the Hans Olaf Lalum slash Christian Subicom slash computer win. Yeah, so not surprising though. It was very complicated. I, uh, but isn't this just uh, okay? Rook c one here. Take on c two. Take on c two, and then are you like continuing? Uh, what this cannot work. Then that, like well, it cannot work. <laughs> no, I, can, I mean I can probably. White can, has no threats anyway, so I can take it. Yeah, can take it, and then mate or queen mate, takes yeah. with queen. Three. It's uh, toast. This is toast. You could play uh, queen takes e5 and run <laughs> to, towards h6. Like, <laughs> run? Yeah. You're a piece down? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, just yeah, check yeah. queen e2 and king f4, and it's like uh, short against Timman, right? Go to h6. Yes. And it's mate. Yes. Doesn't work though. 
unfortunately. Ninety-two. What's the best way? Stuvik, Bladum, anyone? Yeah. Are you there, Christian? Uh, I mean, yeah. rook, rook b2 maybe? No, just take yeah, on b5. Exactly. Hmm. Take on b5, then queen e4 maybe. Mm, yeah. King f1, threatening the queen. <laughs> Looks pathetic, but uh, yeah, it survives. Yes. Maybe knight f5. Or knight c6 though? Yeah, yeah. knight f5 takes, what's the point? I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Try Inviting that. white into the game. And there. Knight c6. And e4 after knight f5, but okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why not, why not, if this is the goal, why not, yeah. okay, this is the tempo, right, but knight c6. But potentially, I mean. Uh, am I blind, or maybe? And then king e3, and the white is perfectly safe, right? King e3. Uh, why not? Mate, right. Take it, take it, rook b5. White is winning. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it looks very nice. <laughs> a bunch of pieces in the center. Oh, it looks very nice. Yeah. Also suggested by Fulda. Of course. Everything of is, course. It's like minus eight and we're trying to find the win. <laughs> yes. Every way. We're terrible. Yeah. But um, I'm sure Connor will find something. But he's down to 14 minutes. So he's... Yeah, okay, so just, I don't know. It doesn't, it does like... Probably computer, doing some control calculation. The computer says like takes and queen c7. Rook d8, okay. And then uh, white is busted. Queen king c1. And then double up, right. All right. Looks uh, looks good enough to me, but uh, we'll see how, how Connor does. Um, I at least want to check out uh, our, of course, top game today. L Nielsen against uh, Gustav Thurgen. L did pick up a pawn on a2 after knight h4 and uh, a couple of trades. Is equal? Yeah, because the white can take on e6. This doesn't look clear to me at all. Maybe I would prefer white here. Mm, the king, yeah. the king is potentially weak and uh, two pawns on the king side. Knight on d2 is a monster. Maybe actually draw. Maybe it's just a draw. Okay, but, uh, but king c2. Check. King B1. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I, I, I guess I, even, uh, I don't think I would accept a draw here with white actually. No, no. Like and G5 is coming. So, I okay. Just, uh, Looks like uh, a, a sound option, but uh, I would not be my preferred option with black this variation. Nah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So she's lost. Rune <laughs> is winning. Rune is winning, of course. Yeah, of course. No, I, mean, I guess it's uh, it's a long way from winning, but um, yeah. he will definitely try to Not make so something. Not so long way from happen. losing, though. Like in queen f8, and uh, it's a perpetual, right? Yeah, it's just immediately draw. I guess. This is also winning uh, everything. What's this? Like the ruining game, just a bit whoop. Yeah, just just worse. I mean, this is rune a pawn up, right? Yeah. Lara is like rune, just with an extra pawn. Yeah. B4 probably just immediately. Yeah, there's no checks or nothing, so yeah. D5, D5 is, just so take it and run. Yeah. Desperate stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now the suddenly like. Uh, What's the rules on offering a draw here on your turn, etc.? Yeah. Um, I guess the standard uh, practice is to, uh, if you want to offer a draw, then you do it immediately after making a move here. There's no Sophia rules here. You can offer a draw at any time. But only uh, after making your own move immediately, not um, during your opponent's turn. I guess that's uh, the common common rule as well. Rook b3, very nice move from John Paul with a not too discreet threat of rook f3. Mm -hmm. What is black is busted? busted. Yeah. Queen f4 probably, but uh, queen f4. You can just take it, right? What's rook f3? Queen f4. Just take it and rook f3. Keep it. Ah. Or just take on c6, maybe. Bishop takes c6. Yeah. Oh. Also, I can probably just like move my queen and be winning. But mm, yeah. Like this? Maybe it's also possible. But okay, it was. I can also take it, rook f3. And, like, but it doesn't really. Yeah, okay. Win f4, possible, but. Knight e7 for Axel now, yeah, maybe. 
This is just a lost thread, but 97 yeah. now to, first of all, Queen E5 is a threat. That's Christian's suggestion. Yeah. So, of course, it's uh, probably uh, approved cheap. by the computer as well. This is probably the first line, and then yeah. this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tricky, yeah. Uh, it is a bit tricky, but uh, knight, knight the, the queen is nice on b2. Also, I the key, key. knight ah, f5. And this yeah, looks terrible. I'm, you you could always I take it, but you could also take on c6, right? This is. Yeah. Isn't this also working? Yeah, probably, Maybe not. Probably also working. Take it, rook c8. Knight a7. Yeah, <laughs> Super greedy. Ah, knight uh, d5, yeah. Rook f3, yeah, should be. Uh, this has to be hor Like if you flip the board. Mm -hmm. Don't don't oh, oh this is what a sight. This uh, is the painful thing. Looks pretty painful, yeah. The definition of a dead bishop, the bishop yeah. on b7 right there. I'm afraid. Um, yeah, yikes, indeed. Uh -huh. D5 played by Jacob, yeah, but uh, to no use. Lara will win this end game. In uh, well, a couple of moves, I guess. No, uh, yeah, no change here. Yeah, no real update in in these games. Uh, G three was a nice move. Should we have a, a short break? Five minutes maybe. Yeah. Um, we'll be back in a couple of minutes, guys. Just a short break from us, and uh, yeah, see you very soon.
Okay, guys, we're back. Um, we uh, didn't check out board 15 and 13, I'm afraid, Zara. We didn't go down to the uh, playing to the playing hall, as we're not wearing masks. So, um, taking our precautions, but um, we'll give you an update when we can. Uh, for now, it uh, looks like Laura is winning against Jacob. She played uh, the queen a6 and probably will play queen b7. Um, which looks, I mean, if she played b3. Uh, this looks uh, completely winning. Um, just queen a2 and b2 and yeah. So, um, will be a nice win for black this. Um, Mats Vest Berlingsen played h3. Uh, well, of course, e5 first and then h3 after a very long thing. Mm -hmm. Down to 15 minutes now. And now I guess this. Mm -hmm. Is it just uh, lost? What does he have? Do you have to be a GM to have something here <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Some tip, some rook. Because the rook knight h uh, this first, of course. Yes. That's the that's where it comes in. Queen d3, knight h6. And we did look at this briefly. Uh, <laughs> and it's completely winning. <laughs> it's completely. We, con we concluded black is. Fine. Yeah, we. I, I was wondering if like okay, it's just lots of pawns hanging and everything's terrible. Looks like uh, Mats is uh, well on the way towards a win against Norman Messi. Ah, Bishop f5, threatening knight mm. on c2, and if you can just take. Ooh. This is some high level stuff right here. So Bishop f5 actually keeps black alive here. That's that's very interesting. Crazy. We need to move the knight. Okay, bishop d3 with the same point as in the game, I guess. Why can't you just play this? Uh, bishop b6. <laughs> he won't play that. Uh, knight h6. And then, of course, you get once you get the queens off the board, then this is... Then you lose against the European. <laughs> yeah. Knight oh, a, I don't know. Knight f5 doesn't look too bad now, though, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Or king e7. Um, King is seven probably better. No rush. Okay, so there's some chances for Messi, but um, we'll see. Requires some calculation. He is uh, twelve minutes ahead on the clock. Lasho is still grinding out uh, against Ludwig Hartson. This looks very good though, right? Wow. <laughs> That's what? <laughs> That's probably the most surprising evaluation I've seen today. The computer uh -huh. evaluated this as. Uh, but uh, maybe some C4 cool. square stuff like knight b6. Uh, ah, right. This is so you cannot really, you're not really free to do No, and board. the king is safe on e5. You can just run to so d6. Like so, knight d4, then just knight b6, like in general. How about this now? Then knight c5? Yeah. Okay, so you have to you be have careful. To be bit, like h5? Yeah. Wait, b, waiting knight, move. Knight d4, knight b6. Then yeah. problematic. Yeah, and highly black has some pressure. Uh, okay, Ludwig again playing a very nice game. It looks. But uh, yeah, but I mean, like this position, I I I read, I mean, white is better. Yeah, we know we have, we, we feel. Yeah, this looks, I mean, optically also very nice for white. But Knight the position, I, I said King bit D three. Yeah, there keep your options open. And then we didn't say C four, but. It's an option, but is it necessary? You can change one rook I and don't bring the other one. I feel like down. it's necessary though. Maybe it's possible. But again, but yeah, 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 these pawns are bad. Yeah, you have more active active king, and uh, you can... it's a bit surprising. Rook c1, so good. Okay, maybe, maybe this is. Um, yeah. I, I'm a bit surprised by that. Uh, rook c6, now. is it so bad? Yeah, right, is it so bad? No, 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 now you win the pawn on g7, yeah. Yeah. okay, right. So. Even if I do something, yeah, G4. I don't know. Black Kirsten, is better. Uh, Christian points out that this is a typical if uh, on Dutch ah, position. Ah, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, with black, with white probably. Ulf Andersson be which sad if he did what the Lars did to his position. Strong statement. <laughs> is <it> Ulf Andersson? <laughs> it's like yeah, not not even talking about himself. He is, knows what Ulf Andersson. Inside the mind would, of Uffe with Christian Strövik. Would, would you be sad if this happened to your position, Christian? <laughs> no. This wouldn't happen because he would. Or maybe Ulf Andersson is himself in that game. I don't know. He's Some very Freudian stuff from yeah, Christian Strövik. But of course, yeah. he is a brilliant guy. E5. Okay, but it's 
Okay. If king e6, then mate, I guess, but king c5? d4, is it so clear? Probably just calculate it. Yeah. e6. Yeah. I think it's clear, e6. This is probably the first. King d6, e5, d6. This is hanging, that's g6, does that work? d6, no way. But no. Check. King e5, e7. Yeah, looks uh, looks pretty I mean, good. He he's gonna have control if he goes in percent like this. Um, like yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it looks. I mean, black is so slow anyway, so there's. He probably just calculated everything. Yeah, black is nowhere near promoting anything. And it's losing, here. so yeah, yeah. whatever. I think he. Um, the prediction he, comes true. Like the computer says, he has like a lot of moves, like knight d4 to. Yeah, but he would have prepared something here, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's in trouble, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, ten live games. 10 live games, but uh, of course we'll update you on how they go and you can visit our website offerspiel.com to check out the rest of the, the games and the standings and uh, use the uh, command games in the Twitch chat, exclamation mark and games, and you'll get the link to uh, the Leeches broadcast where you can watch the 10 live games at your own pace. Ah. Linus is dead lost. Now he's very lost. So he... 97, just very nice simplification of the position and um, yes, what has everything. Very ever. clean game from Foldersness. Yeah, Foldersness is uh, fearless. He's a calculating uh, machine. Uh, very nice from uh, Kosen, King J2. Yeah, I, I, he I'm, did play G4 though. He played G4. I, yeah, but okay, he can. If you want to play G3 first, then King G2 is maybe just your taste or. Yeah. Um, I think bishop f4 is more to the point, more to the point. Yeah. at least trying to do something but yeah okay. thanks Arna for posting the link um, now I like that white has two options yeah to play on bishop f is um, yeah so where is the bishop going is it going back or is it I mean if it's going to f4 then your king is weaker right and it's not doing much on f4 no so, but what, what is black supposed to do besides waiting? <laughs> right, yeah. So greedy, but so nice. <laughs> is it working though? It's probably not. Yeah, well, why nine, not? Knight <laughs> f5, just king h3. <laughs> just completely shamelessly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just hunting <laughs> down the walk. bishop. I see free material, I will <laughs> go. I will go. <laughs> I'll White go is going to collect the bishop. No, it's losing. Uh, your mate, right? Or what is going on? Rook h8. Take on g5. Okay, this is just, you know. Okay, and yeah, okay, but did it, we won the piece. It's yeah, we won the piece. Okay, that was also a joke. We lost on the way. Okay, okay, maybe this is a bit more serious though. g5 and rook h4 because then the king is not. Uh, no, uh, Gosse, there's only 10 live games and we haven't been down to the playing hall uh, yet because we're not wearing masks. Want to um, respect the precautions the players are uh, going through and, and taking. So we'll, we'll give you an update, and you, should, you can also check out the link posted by Sara in the chat. Uh, also visit our website offerspeed.com, as you can see above. Visit us on Facebook and such, and there are links to um, to the pairings and standings there. Okay. Still going for the bishop. Uh, okay, one. Yeah. I'll just take it and then. Then coming, but then it's not like hanging on the stuff here. Ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah, that's a bit. An, I don't want to. Ah uh, no no, queen e eight and a rook h one. Oh one. okay, so maybe it's, my, it's oh. So rook a eight first or king g seven. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but this is so unnecessary. Yeah, com <laughs> complete mess. Oh, you can take it. Yeah, just. But okay, when you play bishop f4, you have to think about stuff like that because yeah, if yeah. you lose it, then it's over. Check out the times though. Uh, Luke is down to 12 minutes, Tufelik sitting at seven, uh, 27 yeah. minutes. Oh, it's very good by well played by Tufelik. Looks like a very clean Strategic game by him. Like just, uh, yeah. How about. Did Connor win yet? Yes, he did. Uh, he went for the pretty straightforward uh, knight c8. Resigns. <laughs> Resigns, actually. That's an interesting... Uh, okay, what's going on here? Let me do this then. Just... Is it just rook b1? Mm -hmm. 
This is more than good enough, right? Uh, yeah, but was that forced? Kind of not uh, in the other land we played, or is this? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Knight b6? No. Yeah, knight you, b6. Uh, you can take on b5. I don't know, but may probably. Maybe <laughs> knight b6, queen takes b5. Maybe knight b6 here? I don't know. No, queen. And also, what? The queen e5 doesn't work though, because then you have uh, knight b6 here, is, is good. Queen d6. <laughs> yeah, perpetual. Yeah, I don't know, maybe this is very strange though. I don't understand this position. But he resigned so we don't need to... Magnus just beat Andrew Tang in the Katara Bullet Tournament. I haven't been following that uh, that one, but uh, pretty good to beat Andrew Tang. But Magnus is of course one of the best bullet players uh, in the world, so there's no big surprise, even though uh, Penguin is pretty fast. Yes. All right, so nice game by Connor. Uh, Ellen. Mm. Wow, wow, lots of stuff happening. Sacrificed the... Uh, knight b1? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, but now queen d1 is in the... King c2. Okay, so you didn't want to draw then. Yeah, or he actually here. Now you lose, but... <laughs> or rook e6 though. Maybe. B6. It looks uh, at least you draw. Yeah, so. Unnecessary, yeah. So he played... So she... Okay, so somehow knight on e4 is a trade. That's so double edged, but white's king oh, now is extremely also. double edged. White has to find, black has to find the moves, but I don't like white there. I don't like it. No, I don't like this at all. I mean, it looks. The pawns no. on g4 and h3 are a long way from promotion, and the white king is so. Rook f2. Rook f2, yeah. Isn't that just. Uh... <laughs> For starters, rook d5, then though. Ah, wow. But the rook f2, rook d5, queen b2, and resigns, right? Yeah, so it doesn't even... right. <laughs> Isn't this just a winning immediately? Yep. Yes. Yeah. What, what's the point of rook takes g7 then? <laughs> I mean, the, Jesus Christ. This position was also lost, like, for thousand reasons, probably. It's yeah. Knight f2... Yeah, I mean, I mean well, well, why in the... Oh. <laughs> How did he end up here? Gustav, my dear Gustav. Gustav? I mean, rook e5 for starters looks like a very slow move to me. Pointless. Yes. When you're hunting pawns, when your king is so airy. Uh, rook f8, rook e7, also very slow. Pointless. Pointless again. Horrible. And uh, and this is also bad. You should just take the draw here, yes, I guess. Yes, of course. At least try to get the draw. Don't give up the square on e4. No, that was... When you get that knight, that knight is worth. So and then just king c c1 and just accept the draw. But uh, knight b1 is like um, a suicidal move. Knight e4, uh, well done by Ellen. Rook takes... Takes... Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is... Uh, oh, this then rook d5. Yeah, That's right. the point. But wow. uh, I guess it's mates after knight d3, right? Should be... Yeah. Or... Yeah. I mean, this is pretty bad. Though. Maybe move the rook on at some point too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have Can to... Can you please finish this line? No, thanks. Okay. I'll just make a fool out of myself. This has already happened. Okay, Gustav, you had your couple... You had a couple of chances today against Ellen, but... Um, oh! Okay, major letdown in the important Check moments. Checkmate in two moves. Yeah. This game is draw. Draw. Ah, oh, okay. So he tried yeah. h4, but then he didn't even. He didn't get it to work. Oh. Yeah, and then Rune oh, plays. Yeah. Rune tries to checkmate. But yeah, except the draw. Draw. This game. Connor won. Lara won as well. Very nice over. game. Yeah. It was already over when he looked at the yeah. last time. This is already. John Paul will win this game. This is I also guess. so over. And now G boy is G4 not working. Queen G5. Okay, so Ellen uh, will win uh, her game today, well on the way towards the norm uh, of some kind. It's probably a WIM norm for starters, but Ooh. yeah, she might... Oh, G5? G5? Come mate me, please. Yeah. Ooh, G5, Ooh. that's... But okay, well, dreaming I, I... of knight G6, but uh, it won't happen. I mean, no, my it's... good man, it won't happen. <laughs> my... uh... Oh... 
Lots of strange stuff happening yeah. today, I feel. I, I mean, lots of weird I moves. feel like the quality of the games are much lower than usual. This round, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because, yeah. like, even in this game, like... Are people uh, tired? I mean, Linus... Uh, people just losing. Often he, well he, he just lost an exchange. Yeah. Lars Oscar of... played strange chess. <laughs> yes. Normans plays chess. <laughs> Lars Oscar often plays strange chess, but good, though. But yeah. today he's been a this bit sloppy, game, maybe. This game was very good by Trofredi. But Lucas played bad. This is yeah. normal, maybe. Lara. Um, this was also normal. Yeah, Co Connor and Lara with the most clean games today, as well okay. as Rune. Nine, I am full diamond. Yeah, no, it was also good, good game by Ellen. A bit bumpy the, that game against Gustav, but uh, I mean, I, I feel Gustav made two very bad decisions. Yes. First of all, castles queen sides, and the second knight b one. Yes. You have just to activate. Know, just, just. Yeah, I mean, I'm speechless. Uh, completely speechless. Now I think back here. Yeah. I think White can just take this. Win if he wants. Yeah, take it and bring the rook yeah. around. Take on g5. Isn't it just mates? Take on g5, g5 bishop take. f6. Yeah, I think he will probably resign. Yeah, Very it's down to eight minutes as well. Bishop d2 looks like a killer. Right. Pawn. I guess you don't have to take it even, but uh, let's like let's just see. So yeah, let's just see. Uh, bishop um, d3 maybe or queen d3 nice. yeah wow when very nice though very nice yeah. gg okay it should be mate like your knight g6 to stop it but it should be like but you don't need to maybe no. it, it knight g6 played okay but uh, there's no threat i mean no bishop f4 g5 wins the bishop so yeah, so it's trying to take this yeah but um, still it's... yes okay yeah. But yeah, it doesn't do anything. Queen b1 maybe. Queen b1. Maybe. So bring the bring the queen around. Maybe yeah, rook h8 is. then. But right, if you get something to the. Could, could could you take on g5 with the with the bishop? Is that? No, oh, it it looks terrible. I also uh, no, I don't have that. You take it first. Take take knight d4. Mm -hmm. No, you have knight f. Is it yeah, not unnecess four unnecessary? Well. Yeah, you might uh, end up uh, messing it up completely. Fork on d4 and everything. But I agree with you, lots of strange decisions today, but uh, also some cool chess. Um, this is like plus 5000, but not the like. Fold Elsnes has won the uh, Norwegian Championship. I was talking about Fold Urkedal, Dr. Jarstein. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Rune Dyrus. Fold Urkedal has as well won the Norwegian Championship a bunch of times. Uh, Rune Dyrus has not, so um, probably um, don't get those two mixed up. But uh, Fodelsen has won, he, uh, he won a playoff against Jul Ludwig Hammar, I think. A very nice, uh, very nicely conducted playoff by Fodelsen. Won with black, I guess. Uh, no, he won with white in the Nimso first, and then he was pressing with black in the exchange for Lopez, but agreed to a draw early on. And won in the playoff. Okay, so we have lots of decided games already. Um, waiting for John Paul, he will win. Hello, hello. Uh, Bilingo. <laughs> right, that's my name. Uh, Lucas will probably fight on, but he, clinging on to his life, but it looks bad. Yeah. Rook H5 is also a move by the computer. Yeah. He will take that one. Next move. Rook H5 is the Christian Suvikol move player in the position. Just uh, turning on the squeeze. Yeah. And then take. Thank you. Draw. Hmm. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> it looks like a complete slaughter this time, I'm afraid, for Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like. That king looks pretty lonely to me. Yeah. Rook H5, not that easy, though. No. We'll see. Uh, Tofelik has plenty of time to figure this out. Horrible position here. Hor hor uh, do we have any normal. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Well, that knight is not super active, and then e4 and e4. Every, yeah, every e Russian school by knows <laughs> that this is the move. Yeah. Bring the king in, and black is completely yeah, lost. The computer this is uh, probably the most dominating game today. I mean, e6 is also winning immediately. But, yeah, um, of course. Probably I would play still. No, I would play e6. e6 just, you know, it's curtains. Take this, e4. Yeah. There's uh, no chance for black. Um, okay, so for that sense, we'll bounce back with the win today. I'm sure that will do him a world of good after losing to Ludwig Carson 
yesterday Jonas Bjerre also um, also well on the way towards a victory Los Oscar though against Ludwig what's happening board two is he winning Los Oscar Uh, I was wanted up here. Oh, I don't yes. know if that's true okay. or not. Okay, sure. Yeah, but uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. and should we perhaps turn oh, our yeah, attention yeah. to crowd favorite board fan <laughs> Adel Nilsson? Okay. I feel we can just great. We can flip the board. Uh, okay. Up and down game, but uh, um, very nice finish. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, this was a slight surprise. Slight surprise, okay. Yeah. I was pretty sure he'd play uh, C4. Alright. Lots of London games today. I think this is the third one or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All boring. terrible for white. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I felt like my opening was quite good. Um, yeah. So C4, C5 just trying to mm -hmm. not be too passive. Like This is a bit passive, just uh, closing down this bishop. So C5, C3. I was talking about Nashim that E6 is my preferred move. But <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll shut up now. That's, that's no. <laughs> I mean, usually I would also so play this, but I just feel like um, in all my bullet games and stuff, like I always uh, lose with this. Bishop. I always go Bishop D6, Castle C5, Queen C7. Yeah, this and was then uh, E5. this was my second choice. Yeah. But I've just had so many bad experiences with this uh, bad bishop and I prefer <laughs> to keep it bad in the French. You can get it out right away. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I just thought c5 and then we'll take it from there even though I don't really know no, what no, I'm but doing. This is, this is uh, all good I think. Uh, c3, knight c6, all good. Knight d2, bishop f5, queen d7, which is I guess the... Um, Preferred the, square. I think so. And then if bishop b5, then I guess he goes uh, e6 and c4 or something, um, in some. I was actually going to go a6. Okay. a6 or c4. Yeah. I think and c4 is the uh, is the way to go in these things. Yeah, and then a6 after, or? Yeah, possibly, yeah. Mm. Um, I don't think bishop b5 before knight f3 is anything, because you, you need to have that e knight e5 threat to make it work, so. Yeah. I, I wasn't scared of bishop b5. No. I also I also consider this one. But, yeah, but I thought the queen yeah. was better in d7. It just is. to avoid the knight e5 stuff. But mm -hmm. I I was trying to, to count moves to see <laughs> that after uh, knight f3, c4, to see if I, um, if I won anything. Yeah. Here, I might just take immediately. I'm not sure because otherwise if I go back then from what I counted <laughs> then uh, I didn't win a tempo. No. And I um, wanted to win a tempo. Yeah, and probably knight c6 b3 is, is fine. So, mm. yeah. so I thought takes and if takes here I wasn't sure if I wanted to go here or even back to go to e7 and g6. At some um, point in the game you could have uh, gotten this I think. Uh, and then yeah. knight e4, uh, the computer was screaming out. We, we didn't understand uh, anything, <laughs> but knight e4 was because the bishop on f4 is dead, and you have b5, b4, and mm -hmm. you know, lots of play. But okay, this is no problem for black, and I think you handled the opening perfectly. Yeah, and I also thought that h3 was a bit slow. Yeah. Um, I Because I didn't expect that he would go g4 at all. So bishop d6, if he takes, then I guess I'm, I'm quite fine. I have this bishop. Uh, pointing down here, I might go b5, b4, and when this rook doesn't have the b1 square, it can sometimes get a little more difficult to defend. Looks perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so he went knight e5, and then from what I counted here, I'm basically playing white. And I'm always quite happy with these structures as, as white. I have more space here. Well, this is where the computer wanted bishop takes e5, actually. Oh, yeah. And then d, e, and knight e4, and your your lap. I, I actually considered it. Yeah. But I don't. I wasn't sure which square. Mm. To be honest, I think I was a bit worried that he could just go in here. Mm. You get to d three square though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have knight c five knight. Oh, I didn't see that. But anyway, the bishop on f four is so useless. I mean, mm -hmm. it's and 
I guess B5, B4, it just, you know, it's it's very good. But okay, yeah. what you did was also perfectly fine, I think. More natural, yeah. I guess. Well, I, I did consider it, but then I just thought, this is, yeah, why not? This is comfortable. Yeah. Um, and then G4. Caveman style. Yes. <laughs> it might actually be a, be a fine move, but I didn't consider it too much. I was like... There's a chance he plays it, but it's nothing I want to spend my time looking at. No. Because I just thought that here and takes and takes, then then it was basically fine. I also considered this, and then I had a few possibilities. I could take here first, but then I didn't know what uh, what this was. And then I could take with the queen, or I could take with the pawn. Mm. With the pawn I have the c5 break, I have the b file. Um, but the queen is a bit more solid, and I still have this b5, b4 plan. So, I don't know. But he took here, and now I sometimes have some of these threats. Trade. And f4 also came as a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't think he'd allow me to get this g5. I mean, if he doesn't go f4, then I'll probably go g5 anyway. Yeah, probably. Uh, Climb down on the dark squares. After f4, you're, uh, you're basically exchanging the g g6 pawn for the e3 pawn, though. Mm -hmm. Which is probably advantageous for white. Oh, you think? Uh, I think so. Frees up his position a bit. And e3 just makes the position a bit cramped. But now he gets the e file, uh, I mean. Ah. Uh, so maybe just uh, keeping your king in the center and going for b5. But we were, we, we were not um, certain in the studio here, but it looks like that might have been uh, profitable for white. So what did you want to play here? Uh, B5 maybe? B5? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Keep your options open. Mm -hmm. um, not sure what white is supposed to do. I mean, B, B3 is not so dangerous. Um, no. Um. And then you always have G5 after, but... Uh, yeah, I I'm guess I sure. also played g5 a bit too fast. I no, was just I mean, very... It's, uh, it's very natural though, to avoid <laughs> g5 from white, right? Yeah, I didn't really consider any other moves either, because I... That's <laughs> super tempting. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> yeah. It was just... Uh, I well, just know so many positions where when you have this and their opponent goes... When you're white and you have this double g pawn and your opponent goes h6 g5, you go g4, clamp down the, dar the light squares here mm. and attack the king. Um, yeah, it yeah, looks, looks very nice. It does. Yeah. But I played g5 and this is forced. We are approaching a shocking moment in the game. <laughs> um, okay, so long castles, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Bishop g2, king b8, all natural. And mm -hmm. then. Yeah, what is I also, this? I also wanted to wait and see like what he did because I considered b5 immediately. Yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't sure if he then castle king side, mm -hmm. and I thought better to just wait because yeah. I might want my king here anyway. And then why in the <laughs> long castles here? I mean, what what in the devil's name is that? <laughs> um, I would. You wanted to go. Kingside? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then b three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I makes uh, perfect sense. Computer says equal. Uh, I would. Uh, <laughs> That's a uh, Of course, of course, zero point zero, <laughs> and it's you know you could just take a draw, but uh, mm -hmm. I would uh, think b three and might be slightly uncomfortable to play black, but uh, I'm not sure. There, there's no obvious plan for black. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't too uncomfortable, because I thought that it might be a bit. I I might be wrong, but I thought it would be a bit slow to go like this. Mm. Um, no, it's, I, not, it's not super fast. No. Yeah, I considered maybe something like knight h7 actually. So go g5. b3, I guess. Mm -hmm. And a, b. Mm -hmm. I guess I have to go f5 here. So our, our plan, if, if black's not doing anything, then b4, knight b3, and it's starting to heat up. This somehow feels advantageous for white because of the bishop opening up. So d e and knight takes and queen g three, I guess. Um, yeah, but of course uh, it's it's also risky for white. I might get mated here. Disclaimer: I might get. Mated. <laughs> I have some. Uh, yeah, you have some. some queen have d six, queen c five stuff. I guess I want my knight to d four now, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure how to how to do it. One of these two ways? Yeah. Or oh, even c5. Yeah, I guess b4 might, might be a start. But of course, long analysis here, yeah. you might have some tricks, but uh, I, I just I well, had a feeling. The moves are quite natural, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Lots of people congratulating you in the chat. Yes, only. thank you so much. Let's just put the cap on again. I actually wore it during the the <laughs> entire game. Okay. I think I'll do Probab it again tomorrow. Probably why Gustav lost his, you know, focus. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But I think it brings good luck, no? Obviously. Um, so I wasn't too surprised by this myself. And then I actually, I was, I, I have no clue what the engine says, but I was so proud of this move. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. really, really proud. Multi-purpose uh, kind of move. Yeah, I really, I thought, it, so I considered a few different things. So the first I considered was B5. Yeah. Which uh, seems bit, almost bit, bit natural, risky. yeah. yeah bit risky. Um, because my first thought was that I would go B4 immediately, but then I realized that mm. knight takes C4 is a bit of a mean trick. And then I considered 97 instead, and I realized this still works. Because, Even worse, uh, yeah. <laughs> there was yeah. a mate down here. We blundered knight c4 uh, like a hundred times. So. <laughs> yes, so did I. Yeah. Um, and then I, I don't know, I considered a few other things, like uh, I even considered knight e8 to go to c7. Mm. Um, but then I saw rook d7, and I was like, this move is just <laughs> nice because it, it keeps some flexibility in the position, at least I thought. Um, first of all, it protects the d7 pawn, so now I have the freedom to go 97, 96 like in the game. Mm. I always have the opportunity to double on the e file if he goes uh, f5 at some point. When I go b5, the rook can swing over to b7. I might play rook c8 myself to go b5, b4, and now mm. the c6 knight isn't hanging. Super flexible stuff. Um, I also, how long, yeah, I took 20 minutes on this move, <laughs> which was my probably longest thing in the game. Feels good um, though to spend some time and find a move you're satisfied with. Yeah, like, <laughs> it might be a really bad move according to the engine, no, but I was it just was so just, happy. It was just fine, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the engine suggests a bunch of moves and everything's equal. So yeah. it basically it just boils down to whether you, you find the nuances of the position, right? And yeah, Robbie obviously I, did. So. <laughs> when, I, when I thought uh, about... I When I was sitting during the game, I thought, hmm, the engine might say that <laughs> there's a lot of different moves which are basically equal. Screw the engine. Um, but I had to think strategically and not just... Yeah, uh, yeah. And then this was a bit of a shocker. Yeah, why not uh, h4, h5? Because the 97 plan is very nice. H4, yeah, h4 was also play. what I thought he should play. And then h5, g5, h6, and just you know start something. Yeah. Because white has not much going on. I thought he'd either play h4 or this rook to e1. Yeah. Because he has to meet uh, 97 with h4. No, not h4. Yeah, the h5. Oh, yeah, even... Um, well, oh, it might just be rookie e5, but it's just you know, yeah, just standing there. So yeah, h4 was probably the way to go, but this was just I pointless, mean, I guess. Yeah, rookie five also a bit. Yeah, it's nice, but <laughs> it's pointless. Um, yeah, because I have this queen a6 idea. Yeah, but I think I misplayed it. Uh, rook d e1, queen a6. Still dead equal according to the computer, of course. <laughs> uh, of course. But super complex stuff. Yeah. Um, um. He needs to make f5 work, so I guess rook e2 is a good start. Yeah, and I wasn't sure whether to take this one first or to go knight h4 first. And after I went knight h4, I kind of regretted it. Um, but I'm not really sure if I take first. Does he go queen g3 or Probably f5. If you take first, then he has this queen takes g7 stuff, right? So I guess. I oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then check. King a8. And it might just become the same, but at least here he. Yeah. But he, here he only has the option to take with the queen, whereas in the game he also had the option to take with the rook. Yeah. I don't know, it might just be a move transposition. Yeah, it might be, it might be. Mm. But um, I don't have to go knight h4, I guess. Or maybe I do, otherwise I might get mated. Yeah, knight f8, I'm not sure what, uh, what's going on. Maybe g5 is dangerous. And g6, I'm not sure. Can I check? This is my idea. Probably king c2 then. But yeah, king king. Because he allowed knight d4 in the game, which was a huge yeah. blunder. Um. And king d1. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too comfortable with this, to be honest. 
as black. No, uh, might, might it's it's very complex, so uh, it, it can uh, it can turn ugly quite quite fast. Mm. So uh, yeah, so maybe I should be happy. But with but that very too. very difficult position though. So knight h4 looks reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, a two pawn is not so important yet, I guess. So. No, but I I guess I have to take it here. Yeah, this is just bad. Yeah, um, greed is good here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just losing. Yeah. Um. So I I took takes takes here and here I considered knight e four. Wow. Um, because the point is that here. But then you have knight c five and queen a one. <laughs> And, and I we wasn't have transformed uh, the end game to a slightly worse end game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and after rook e five, it's I... miserable, I guess. Yes. But, okay. Well, well. Um, nice calculation, anyway. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> and the point was also that king d two runs into to a queen loss. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um. So I started by by going rook d eight mm -hmm. because then knight c five isn't threatening the rook, and I'm not getting made it on the back rank anytime soon. Uh, then he played rook e1 to e5, and then now the rook isn't hanging on e1 anymore, but I still thought about it to see if I had some kind of perpetual. Uh, but here you just go king d2. Mm. Um, so instead I played rook f8, because now it works in, in some other ways, as there's the, the, uh, oops, there's the f2 square and something on f1. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, he played rook e7, check, and and I'm not he didn't. Uh, on this. Yeah, I was probably going to go for the draw because the position is so complex. I think actually, queen king c1 is uh, just going for the perpetual that way. Is it's better? Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, but I guess yeah, I guess perpetual is yeah the natural finish to the game here, but uh, suddenly mm. knight b1 and uh, and you found knight e4, which is of course, you, um, were, you were looking for it for a couple of moves, so it's, yeah. it's obvious to you, but uh, interesting to see how fast this position collapsed. This yeah, is, but I here I thought you should play rook f5. Yeah, why not? And then g6, takes, takes, and now there's no rook f2 because there's the mate down here, mm. so I might play Oh, it's not my turn. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you could go rook f three as well, just holding on to the um, f file. Ah, sure. yes. Um, oops. Yeah, that might or, be. Or rook f seven, even more natural move, I guess. Oh yes, I didn't even consider those moves. But um, yeah. But the but rook, rook takes G's, Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's still. Uh, I could take on b seven. Oh. Ooh, so do I take this one first? Um, I guess. I yes. actually, I was maybe maybe rook e eight here, cheapo maybe some. <laughs> this one. Um, take or it first, yeah. Too fancy, uh, rook e eight. Trying to get some knight c three stuff working, but I'm not sure. It's uh, it's complicated still, uh, but I guess rook g seven was too greedy because then just rook f two and it's. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas. Um, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't extremely happy with my position here. I felt like uh, this was this was kind of solid, and I didn't know how to break through. And if I don't break through, then mm. my queen is quite far away, and these pawns could be dangerous. And then he then he took on g seven. I was <laughs> I was like, what? What, <laughs> what is going on? Um, and then he told me that what he had seen, like because he thought like he had calculated, and he Rick thought that he could play that I would play knight d two here. Right. Um, and then after uh, and then Queen D two, then he just had Rook E one. <laughs> okay. That was that was hope? at least what I what I thought he said. Uh, okay. He was speaking a bit quickly. Okay. Um, yeah. And also, like when he took on G seven, I couldn't help but just look at him and be like, "Are you serious?" And I wasn't quite sure what I missed, but then Rook F two and the game I was, was over. <laughs> we were just looking at uh, the game and Rook G seven, and we were like, "Dude, what's?" <laughs> What's going on here? I mean, eager to get home, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it happens sometimes. I mean, he was also 26 minutes late for the yeah. game. Yeah. So sometimes you're just, you're tired and... Uh, I've done way worse than this, to be honest. But also a point is that you don't take the queen here. Yeah, you take on which I didn't notice at first. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, actually didn't <laughs> either. I saw Rook F2 and I was like, hmm, was he thinking Rook 65? And I realized, yeah, just take on B2. Too fancy for his own good, I guess. Uh, yes. bit brutal though, because I guess Knight B1 is a winning attempt. Yes, of course, of course. He wanted so to it's win. pretty brutal, but it happens. It, it happens. like uh, his whole attitude was telling me during the game that he was he was playing for a win, which um, in some way, even though I like my position, it was a bit intimidating. So I didn't feel as comfortable as no, I would no, have. It, that's fair, you know. Yeah. He was he was ready for a fight, but I guess he he let himself down in the major moments. Mm. Um, and then I I liked the the finish. <laughs> The maid on the board. A fitting finish, finish yes. the king on e4 as well. Well, very nice game indeed. We can just <laughs> have a quick look at. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure you saw Connor's game, but uh, also oh, I was very nice. It looked uh, very, very good. Yeah, also a, a mating attack, so I'm sure mm -hmm. you guys are happy today. Yes, um, for sure. I was, uh, I was told by Johannes that there's a good chance that I've secured a WIM norm. All right. But I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> All right. Well, after um, six rounds, that's that's pretty good. You know, I prepared with Bullet today. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing uh, Bullet on stream for a good two I hours. heard you were streaming. I, yeah. I, I just assumed you were analyzing, you know, old Kasparo games. <laughs> you know, but okay, Bullet. Okay, you know, right. that was the plan. But then uh, <laughs> JK and I, we started with a little Bullet He's match. He's a pretty bad was... influence, that guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He plays he plays classical as he plays Bullet, so he can yeah. prepare with Bullet. Um, all right, Lachowski against Ludwig, which is, well, okay, so he's pushing. Um, Jonas won a pretty nice game. I'm not sure if you saw this. Yeah, I saw that he, he won an exchange and he was quite much better after the opening, no? Um, yes, um, because he prepared something like this. Uh, yeah, and then this is just lost for black, actually. Oh, it's just lost? <laughs> because this is also extremely uncomfortable. And then yes, I, I guess wow. there are some, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> terrible <laughs> lines. So he just took with the rook and accepted defeat, I guess. Yeah, I was I was looking, I was looking at the board here after e3, and I saw that Jonas he hadn't spent much time, and his opponent was just spending time. Yeah. And I thought it just looked very pleasant. Like uh, black isn't developed at all, and white has so much uh, free space for his pieces. They are so active, all of them, and. It just seemed like not a mirror like analysis uh, with lots of <laughs> lots of arrows. I mean, I, I guess it's just high level preparation from Yona, so it's it's very instructive. Uh, yeah. When's Ellen's next match? That's, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, same time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll be watching the brilliant Ellen with the white pieces. I guess no pressure, of course. <laughs> no, uh, no pressure. pressure. We we're expecting a win, but no pressure. Maybe I should try to stream again, just see if <laughs> uh, if that's the reason I want. Or maybe it's the cap. I have. I, I have a cap. feeling. I have a feeling the cap yeah. didn't. <laughs> I think it's also uh, time for me. To I think just like, yeah. I yeah. the physical involvement. Uh, uh, no, I, I, okay, I, 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 I think yeah. we're done actually because yeah. I think the live games are done. So I'll yeah, just. So, yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, Al. And we'll see you tomorrow. I bet. Yes. Um, yes. Excellent. Okay, so I think uh, we'll uh, we'll be running up here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, all the live games are done. Done. Ellen won a brilliant game today. Uh, thank you to Johan Salomon for brilliant GM insights today. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, another round. Lots of interesting uh, encounters. And um, follow us on social media. And we'll be back tomorrow with the quiz as well. Didn't make that today. Um, see you guys tomorrow. And thank you for watching. Have a nice night.